What it good be, homie? This would still be this your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this is Yappa Yappa. Yappa. Make some noise! <laughs> now, this brother here, man, comes from one of the craziest cities in the world. He's been putting this down since 2011. Everybody in the industry, nobody has nothing bad to say about him that I, that I came in cross with. This is our first episode of 2024. We are so happy to be back and to introduce Shot Town's own, the one and only motherfucking G Herbo. What's going on? Hey. What's going on? What's the word, big bro? What's going on? Good, man. I'm happy to be here, man. Okay. You and Funny Marco, y'all good? Yeah, hell yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> I man. saw that today, yeah, too. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? Just tell the people, because I, I know you did a phone call like, yeah. explaining some of it. But well, Jamie, can I get a drink? I, 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 I want the uh, uh, Stoley's with uh, Club Soda and, and, and Lemon. Go ahead. So what happened? So look, Marco, first and foremost, like, that's my man. We okay. already had a relationship mm -hmm. prior to doing the interview and shit. Mm -hmm. So originally, Sizzle was supposed to did the interview, like, okay. the episode, uh -huh. and they had it, like, his production staff told us to, like, troll him. Like, it was supposed uh -huh. to be a surprise to come on there to troll him. Oh, you know okay. Like, y'all said we that We weren't originally just on bullshit with bro, uh, right, you know right. what I'm saying? But we was a little, like, off the sauce. We was a little, right, 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 so we, right, right. you know extra, what I'm saying? Right. With a little extra overboard. But the whole right. thing was to come on there and, like, intimidate him on his own show. Like, right. pulling him on him. Type. Right, right. right. Pulling him on him. Yeah. Like, doing and, him. And we, we, I spoke to him, like, before it even came out, and you know what I'm saying, we was uh, good. Like, okay. you know I mean, I ain't know if it was like a confusion between our staff and his production team, where right. they was thinking we didn't want it to come out. We was right. like, no, it's cool. Right. We ain't really tripping. You feel right. what I'm saying? Like public perception and what people gonna take from it. That's another thing, but mm -hmm. right. that's the name of the game. That's what right. it come with it. You feel what I'm saying? Right. We gotta be able to take that. You feel me? But it, it wasn't like no bad blood or no no shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know they was, because he was saying, like, after it came out, my folks was like, no, nah, take it down, take it down. Like, we well, right. ain't never do that. Like, right. I ain't never tell him, like, nah, bro, you got us looking crazy mm -hmm. or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. It was still all love, you feel right. what I'm saying? Was you surprised how, how, how viral that went? Yeah, I was. I right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, where was you at? When I was when it happened, yeah, I was, yeah. Um, like I mean, like when you I was in Atlanta, I okay. had hit him. Like okay. I had hit him and told him, like, no, nah, it's good. You feel what I'm saying? Right, like right. the shit with, with with the watch and all that uh, shit. Uh. Be like, bro, I got you, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, Didn't y'all throw his hat or something at one point? Bro, I don't, we was doing all type of shit. Y'all doing the dirty. <laughs> so, what you supposed to say? But no, nah, I was like, it's all love, bro. Right. Like, I, I know, like, how it came out to the internet, it looked like nigga was on some bullying shit. Yeah, that's know, that's like, that was a, a word that was thrown around a lot. Right, was right. bullying, and that's what that's when I really like took it serious. But I didn't right. want to like put nothing on the internet or like I don't know how to really play the internet game. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? like go back right. and forth, even when it's defending myself. Like you know, what I'm saying I know if it's real love between right. me and Bruin, we got to understand that right. that was all that mattered to me. As long right. as he knew it was the respect yeah. between us was still. You don't gotta the same. say nothing. Yeah, right. I'm saying like I mean, me as a uh, outsider looking in, that I saw it. I thought it, that was a, a joke that everybody was in right. on. In on it, right. Yeah. But I'm telling you, like, it was because the he whole always point does that was to come stand. and, like, troll him and intimidate him right. yeah. on the show. But yeah. then when they tried to spin it like we was on some bullying shit, that's when I'm like, nah, I ain't really with that, you feel me? Because I got fans that probably, you know what I'm saying, right. got right. Shit situations with bullying, and I ain't with that. I got kids, right. you feel me? Right. Because right. he always does that awkward stare, right? Like, he, yeah. he, like, like he's trying to make you seem like you, you, you ain't making sense. That's why I'm scared of that show. That's you his whole interview style. You gotta yeah. really like. I don't. I don't. You don't try to make You gotta I switch it on you. Know what I mean? Like the people who had the best interviews with him, the people who could like troll him back. Yeah. Trying to switch it back. Right. Like, yeah. That's what we thought. Right. Let's make some noise for you, man. You troll him back. <laughs> now, now we all heard the rumors of uh, you supposed to be going to jail for five years. Yeah. By the grace of God, you know what I mean. You motherfucking cop. You can't. You were, you was on vacation, but you left on probation. God damn! God damn! It. Drink to that. Yeah, drink, 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 drink. God damn! It. Save me. Like Jesus. Wait. Oh shit! That you know, swerving like the cat woman. Holy moly! So how, 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 what happened? Like you, you got to be fucking ecstatic. Man, hell yeah, man. You know, God, man, for real. Right. We right. got to get all praise to God for sure. But mm -hmm. just you know, staying alone, staying the course, and. 
a Ooh. lot of money for sure. You right. know what I'm saying? Legal I spent shit. a lot of money right. to stay free. And at the end of the day, it was taking accountability. You feel me? For a minor role in some shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And just me being a kid, being naive to the fact. I, I don't like... Everybody that know me, and I'm being personal. Like, I, this mm. some shit I, I really was able to sit across from my judge and tell him. Like, you mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. I barely know I even use my cell phone. Like, I ain't never committed fraud against nobody. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was being no, sincere, too. You feel me? Like, I was accepting full accountability for whatever my role was uh-huh. in the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't doing that to further my career, nothing right. like that. Since what, I they was thought 16. you was doing PPP loans? Yeah, nah, they thought I was doing some shit, like, basically using... Funds or fraud or cards or whatever identity or some right. shit to fund videos and shit like that. I've oh, been wow. making money since I was 16 years old off rap already. Mm. I was already well off mm. when that whole situation occurred. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Right. It was basically me paying for goods. Like basically, like if I'm a jet, I'm paying half for the shit. Like mm-hmm. if it's forty thousand, I paid twenty thousand. I gotta have cash already to do this shit. You feel right. what I'm saying? So it's like it was a situation like that. But wow. I was. 17, 18 at the time. I'm 28, you feel right. me? My judge right. know I never even think about committing any type of crimes. I'm a real, you feel right. what I'm saying? Father, right. law abiding citizen. I pay taxes, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like, it's really just it was me accepting full accountability as a man and my, and my judge really knowing, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to steer straight and be on the up and up, you feel me? And, and really, I believe in being vulnerable and, and just talking about situations because I, you know, it'll help the next generation. It'll mm-hmm. help the youth. Somebody looking mm-hmm. up to me, you feel what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you gotta just accept the right. accountability about it, right. and whatever role or whatever you do in life, and whatever <clears throat> it is, you gotta be able to just stand up and take whatever punishment if there is a punishment. You feel right. what I'm saying? And my judge knew I was willing to do that, and by right. the grace of God, he let me walk out with probation. Black, black judge, white judge, white judge. Space some noise for a white judge. I don't know. <laughs> Make some noise for the judge. Oh, no. Make some noise for the judge, man. Make some noise for my judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. For sure, he definitely gave me grace. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I had my family in there. And right. I was able to walk yeah. out a free man. All right. Nah, yeah. goddamn it. Goddamn it. Yo, one thing that's just so, like, um, me going through life, right? I always know, like, the guy with the ice grill, he's probably not the guy that, like, he, he's, he's throwing up a front. One thing about you, you smile. And I believe your smile. Yeah. That lets me know that you've been through a lot. Appreciate it, bro. Because when a motherfucker can smile Mm. and it's sincere, like when you smile, I smile. Like I be seeing you like I be like yeah nigga I don't know what you going through I right? you was listening to my song one day more they don't want to do thing I was in Puerto and you was having a in Puerto Rico you was having a goddamn ball yeah. I was like damn well, I'm not I'm not there but I, I appreciate that so I can tell without you 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 know you don't have to be bragging or whatever whatever I can tell you've been through things is is rap something that is it all that you you thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I did. It's like Damn. on the on the flip side though. Like Okay, I'm like saying, meaning. Like what I mean and what I thought it was gonna be as far as like the the pros that come with it, nah. But like just the responsibility and what you take on and just right. like actually like nah, I believe in like purpose and that like I really right. feel like I was meant to do everything I'm doing that. Wow. All the adversity, everything I ever had to overcome. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm able to smile. That's why I just be so grateful for right. it. Any situation, I take the bad with the good, and I don't really look at the bad like it's a bad. I just try to learn right. from whatever situation I'm going through so I can come out on top of it. Like That's why I'm able to just be able to smile through all the bullshit. Nah, so what I mean, real. like, I, I felt like what I mean by when I said, yeah, that it was everything I thought it was going to be because I really vision, had vision huh. for this even as a, when I first, like, made a decision, like, I right, but I'm finna really... Do this rap shit off And what age was that When you made like, that decision Constantly like, Yeah like on the serious tip Like yeah Like 16 years old 16 yeah, young, 17 though, yeah. years old For real for real wow. I was like I always had the vision To be this one day Like I always wanted to do it The independent route Bet on myself You feel what I'm saying I always had aspirations Of being Able to be in the conversation with like, you know what I'm saying? My peers and the greatest. Like, I, right. like no, they, I, I'm saying this because I'm a humble nigga. I don't want to jump the gun, but I always wanted to be considered like a legend. Like, I looked up to the hoes, the Waynes, and I want to be considered like one of Oh, you a legend, nigga. nigga. You a legend, nigga. You here. That's where you at. That's where the fuck we at, brother. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you got me hype. For real, though, bro. So it's like, <laughs> I knew what it was gonna take to get there. So I took everything that came with this shit, all the ugly, and I never complained about it. I mm. just did it. 
And it always benefited me because now I'm here, like you said. Right. You feel what right. I'm saying? So it's like, that's what I mean on the flip side of it. Because right. it ain't always like glitter and gold. People on the right. outside looking in, they think this shit's sweet. Like it's oh, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? What's, you know some, what's some of the ugly so people could. Oh, the yeah. ugly is just being able to, to, to take a loss, whatever the loss is. You right. feel what I'm saying? Because all this shit come with losses and trials and tribulations and right. being able to take that, especially as a man and a leader. Like I was just talking to my brother the other day. Like everybody don't got the ability to be able to lead. Right. Mm -hmm. In general, like not even with no music shit, just your household, everybody right. in the family. I just told him like everybody gonna stop what they doing and follow you if that's yeah. what you say. If they if you say go left, you people gonna go left. Right. Like the ability to lead, I always had that. So when you got that, it's a lot of weight that come on your shoulder. You uh -huh. know Responsibility. Saying? I've been in that role since I was 16, 17 years old. So it's like mm -hmm. all the ugly. That's the downs that come with that shit. Cause it's like you got to deal with family, you got to deal with music, you got to make all the sacrifices mm -hmm. to be like. Or what about any means type of, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shit, attitude, you feel me? Like, it's whatever it takes for me to get there. Right. Sometimes you might hurt the people you love along the way. Sometimes you might lose people along the way. But by any means, I'm still going to get there. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people don't really got that drive and that dedication. And that shit like a gift and a curse because it put a lot of stress on you. I had a lot of stress on me since I was a kid, you feel me? Right. But right. I always just took that shit and rolled it. And like made that shit look easy, even when I'm like niggas say I'm smiling, but it's right. like you don't know what a nigga going through. Exactly. I'm just grateful for right. everything that come with this shit. You yeah. feel me? So we can't have a bad day as a rapper. You exactly. can't have a bad day. You can't have a bad like, day. If, day, if you're right. not in the mood to take a picture, stay home. It's over with. Mm. Stay home. Don't stay do the fuck this home. Shit. Or, right. Don't do the shows. Don't go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't have no bad days, no matter right. what. You feel me? Right. Like you know how that shit goes. Yeah. Um, when you think Drake is sending that hook? <laughs> Man, I'm gonna get old Drake ass. I just feel like it's coming. Fall. Nah, I fuck with bro. I fuck with bro. Um, mm -hmm. I really, I ain't gonna lie. I, I got out of like the mood of just sending songs though. I be having so much going on. I really. Wait, so you trying to tell you, you Drake asked you to send a song and you said no? No, nah, hell oh. nah, he oh. nah, 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 nah. I have to get that straight. I sent them the song. Okay. I sent them songs, but I really uh -huh. feel like I already just get in anyway. Like, oh, like I know together. that's the type of time bro on anyway. Yeah, like get in, when you say get exactly. in, you, yeah, yeah, in, yeah, the, yeah. in the same studio. In the same studio. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, that's that 90s shit. <laughs> that 90s shit. I ain't gonna lie. That's why the music came out better back then is because we didn't have the option to send Right. Versus, like, if you had to do a, a record with Fat Joe, there was real you chemistry. Had to go, you had to go to, to the their, yeah, yeah, they you, had to go to their studio, right. or they had to go to your studio. There was you know chemistry I mean? there in the yeah, studio. Yeah, it was chemistry, right. and yet you, you build a bond. That comes yeah. through in the music. Yep. I feel like my best shit come out like that, anyways, though. Right. When you got together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got a lot of features. So you telling me most of your features is. is yeah, I'll be. Okay. Hell yeah, I'll, be, I'll pull up. I'll well, be pulling up. You'll, you'll go to the studio. Hell yeah. Okay. For real. All right, we're going to get to that because you got a lot of features, goddammit. I ain't going to lie. Everybody in hip hop love you. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be I heard you say one time that you don't think hip hop love you back. I was saying that on some like not the industry, not the love that you actually get from being in hip hop. Uh -huh. What I mean, like you know how that shit go. Like they love you, they hate you, then they love you again. That's yeah, awesome. this for everything. Yeah. You got to overcome. Yeah, all the adversity. So if you don't know that, if people don't take that. That's what I mean. Like you got to look at it like they don't love you back, so you don't expect nothing. Just do you. You feel what I'm saying? Gotcha. Nah. No, but I know what he's nah. saying. I'm talking about I'm like. Nigga. The, yeah, I, yeah, we love you, nigga. You know that. You Hip hop, know that. we love you. We cook your color thing. Nah, I can't. Because I know you're yeah, that's, that's, you that's, 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 like, that's, that's the strategy. That's the strategy he's saying, though. That's how you. That's the way he's approaching it. Yeah, and I get that. I also heard Bruce Lee say, never play talk about yourself wrong. Because your, your 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 body doesn't understand your plan. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I get so, that too, though. You know what I mean. I try yeah. to get deep. Come on, man. You ain't gonna let me Super get deep. You, you no, got, 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 got deep. Deep. You got deep. No. Come on, Jesus. I get that though. That was that shit right there. Come on. Because we're thinking that you know sometimes it just puts you in the mindset of like you not being as motivated. Right. You like fuck it. I don't care. You know right. what I'm saying? Like I be right. trying to put myself in the mindset to always be motivated. Right. Like, I don't right. want to have no day just thinking about negative shit too long. Right, like I got to do some like productive in some type of way. Let me let me let me ask you um about about your city, right? One thing that I used to go to the Chicago, you know, I got family in Chicago, I got Spanish and black family in Chicago. They don't yeah, talk I to each know. other, but really, um, yeah, they gang, they the opposite gangs. They don't fuck with each other. Yeah, and I, I'm not the nigga that's gonna try to bring them together to the uh uh. They just, they not family. Right. They're oh, I guess you okay, understand what I'm yeah, saying. The, because Heck got he got Puerto Rican family that yeah. are family it's that don't talk to each other. Don't fuck with oh yeah, I got that too. He got, yeah, yeah, I got that too. But Chi Town, Chicago, is a beautiful city. For sure. Dennis, it's 
The flip side. For sure. Do you still live in um, Chi Town? No, no, hell no. Okay. I just go back to go visit family and go take care of business. I've been, that was one of the like things that like I did first. Like I just had to get in the mental headspace while I couldn't be in Chicago. That shit right. was too, it was crowding me. I got out of Chicago when I was like 21, 22 years old. Right. Yeah, I've been out of that. You, you believe that most rappers is a downfall of staying in their own city? For sure. Yeah? Hell yeah. yeah. Cause it ain't even got a lot to do with the hate. It's just the you know the comfortability too. You feel mm -hmm. you get too comfortable around your people. Everybody know you. You get accessible. Like a lot of this shit, just you know, like you got to lead to become bigger than the city. You feel me? I tell you, I, I can't. When I go to New York, I, it's the worst thing for me because one. I don't know how to not answer the phone. Right. Like I got that problem. You got that too. problem? I got that oh, bad. get out of that. Get out of that. <laughs> I've been going through it for 20 years. You don't want that problem. Yeah. You got to learn how to cut people off. I don't, because I. Yeah, I'll be I trying and then the I eventually phone. still answer. Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to be with this dude. <laughs> I know him. I know it. I, I posted a picture at Newark Airport. This dude hits me. I tell him where the hotel is. He smells like cocaine bad. still. <laughs> he just left the block. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why did I do this? What am I trying to prove? Yeah, like, did I, got I still that. got connections? I do I it every it's time. Just, it's the comfortability. I'm telling you, nigga, just comfortable. Like, Ugh. all right, these are my peoples. All right. Holy moly guacamoles. But so, for a person who's never been to Chi-Town, can you describe it? Um, I always do. Like, everybody like that never been there, they feel like it's just... Like the wild, wild west. Like, yeah, like they just zone. running around there, guns it's, everywhere. It, he, it's really, like he said, that shit, super beautiful. Yeah. Like, you got good ass food, a lot of yeah. good restaurants. When I'm de when I'm in the city, I don't really go to my old neighborhood. I don't be uh -huh. over there, you feel me? I be right. low key downtown and all right. the beautiful parts and right. shit. So it's like, when you go down there, you got good shopping, good food, yeah. you feel me? But you just gotta like, be in that realm of things, you right. feel me? Once you go to Chicago and you want some tourist shit, trying to go ride through Old Block oh, or Old Rally, Block, yeah, yeah. Don't that's do that. But that's like any city. That's like any everybody city. Everybody try to do that now, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like tourists and shit. I like, used to do that every place I used to go. Yeah. Like, I used to do that too, though. Yeah. Like, it was, as soon as it was you touch down, you're going to go to the trenches. Yeah. Immediately, you're going to go to whatever hood right there, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but... You, it, if we know what came with that back right. then. Right. It's before the really, like, when I started traveling, 20... 11, 2012, going to New York, going to all these places and stuff like that. Like, internet wasn't really super lit like that. Everybody wasn't posting everything, you feel right. me? So we was going right to the hood as soon as right. we touched down to any place, you feel me? Like, But now people going down to the hood, they record the broadcast you out, you broadcasting uh, yeah, no. where you at, yeah, you feel me? Right. Anything come with that, you a tourist. It ain't even right. got to people, be the people who from around there that fuck with you, you right. know what I'm saying? You don't know who watching your page, you feel right. me? Like, And they know you before you ever know who they exactly. are. Exactly, you feel right. me? Right. But like, Chicago is it's smooth though, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I right. go back home because I love being with my family. It's a beautiful shit, city, man. Yeah, hell yeah, I tell people all the time, if you go out there, you really enjoy yourself, it's shit. You little spots you could go kick yeah. it, chill. It's place you could be with your kids and shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Like right. it's super smooth. And y'all got like, beaches out there too. Yeah, we got beaches, the lakes, right? lakes yeah. all type of shit. Oh, it's lakes? No, they got yeah, beaches. That's a lake. No, it's a lake, bro. No, it's, it's a lake. beach by um, Yeah, it's, it's a beach by lake. Yeah, beaches, but it's it's basically Lake Michigan though. Yeah. yeah, bro. What you think? It was by an ocean? Man, what the fuck you think I you see? A beach? <laughs> It's, it's, a, a it's a lake, yeah. but it's a lake. Niggas be on, on the yachts oh, and shit yeah, in Chicago, man. <laughs> <laughs> what ocean were they on? I, Except got for, I, I, I can't lie to you. My brother brought me to, he, he said, one of the number one pizza spots in the world. Chicago and style? It was called. Come on, you, you got to eat the, the pizza. Name? You got to eat the pizza with... A fork and a knife. Oh, I love that shit though. Nah, man. that's not the enough. They, they took you to Giordano's. He tried yeah, to get yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, nah, man. Is that where he took you? I'm from listen, Chicago. Man. I fuck with the deep dish, but people from Chicago really don't eat deep dish, bro. Deep really? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I like it. Because New York, pizza, we got the best slice. That's like some tourist shit. We got shit. the best right. Stop New York. it, man. Yeah, yeah, you want to clap? You know New York got the hey. best pizza. <laughs> New York got the best pizza. Nah, Detroit pizza's good, though. I ain't never heard Detroit I like Detroit style pizza. That was a trap, Steve. I never heard nobody mention that. I ain't never heard nobody mention that. I ain't never heard nobody mention that. At what point are you gonna say, JK, just joking? Wait, no, no, that's Detroit. It's for real? Good. Yeah. Just kidding. No, no. no, it's dope. It's dope. Jesus, Detroit. But big up to Trick Trick. You know, those my people out there. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, boom. You really got bulletproof cars? Yeah, hell yeah. Are they heavier? Yeah, they heavy. Of course heavy they're heavier. Heavy. Yeah. yeah, heavy as hell. You got a, a bulletproof. Put, put me on, put me on. I got level six. I'm gonna fuck a bomb proof or everything. Damn, bomb proof. The Cadillac. 
Cadillac truck. But for like, pay like two eighty for it. That's not bad, actually. But you're not trying to go to war now. No, nah, he I mean, nah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure I get home. Like, you know, I, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Growing up in the streets, like, mm. I always hit a man. So I never put nobody I love in harm's way, no matter. Right. Like, even right. with like, I'm just paranoid. I don't even mm. be having shit going on. I get, I get real love in my city, bro. Like, I be right. able to pop out and shit. But right. I always like. Even like what I'm saying is when I was young as a kid, like I never, when I used to drive cars, I always had cars 16, 17. Mm -hmm. I never used to have my mom in the car. I never used to have my sister in the car because I just was paranoid if anything happened, I'm putting people that I love in harm's way. Mm -hmm. I always said I'm going to be able to make sure my people safe when I really get some real money, you feel me? So I'm mm -hmm. around with my kids. I want to make sure no matter what, my mm -hmm. kids, everybody that I love, family, is right. safe when we ride in Chicago. Because right. you never know what. Oh, did you cars just for Chicago? Yeah, for real. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Man, Chicago like that. Yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. Ain't, you gonna make nobody go, wanna go to Chicago right now. No, nah, it ain't even that. It's just like, you don't never know what happened. You know, yeah. it's dangerous everywhere. You feel me? What like, you just said in Kanye, and niggas is gonna look about Chicago, it's man. It's dangerous <laughs> everywhere, nah, but you, Chicago you, just like, it's different. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Like, you never, and it, what, what I'm saying is, I'm from there. You never know who love you, who hate you. You right. feel what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, I gotta make sure I'm straight at all times. I don't take no chance. Is that Chicago or is that everywhere, kinda? It's just Chicago morning. I mean, but it's everywhere. A lot, yeah. of, rap, a lot of rappers, you know what I'm saying, go right. back home and, and right. feel like that. You feel me? Especially, you know, that paranoia. Not, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You got to always be on point anyway because you're an artist. Everybody know you. You got to like you showing love. You don't know if they're love real or not. You just got to always be on your square at all times. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what's crazy about... Um, That's what I feel like being in Chicago because I don't know who was who. All right. You know what's crazy about Chicago? Um... I remember at one point, I used to go to Queensbridge, right? And there used to be a and R's just hanging out in Queensbridge. They didn't know they was in the most drug-infested place in the world. They're just sitting there trying to find another Nas. And they're sitting there trying to find another Mob Deep. It's so many people that go to the, the go to side rack trying to find another version of y'all, and they putting themselves in harm's way. Yeah, sometimes niggas <laughs> will do that though. They will take right. that risk. I ain't gonna lie. That's why you gotta shout out to Mickey Hostel, bro. That was right. that when I first started rapping. That was my that was my manager um, uh -huh. at the time. He when I first met him, bro, I was what 16, 17 years old, man. Pro no, I was fifteen, like fifteen, sixteen, and. I, I always been bad with phones. You see how I just pulled up, my yeah. phone all cracked right. up and shit. Right. I've been like that. Mm -hmm. And I always lose phones. Like so I and I know numbers about hard, I promise you I know everybody number that be with me about hard and shit. So I used to like not have a phone and not really get no fuck, just be standing on the block posted up all day cause shit. Right. That's what everybody outside anyway, if you right. I could get in touch with whoever, but he really used to pull up looking for me. On my block, like right. when I'm 15 years old, with his family, got his kids, his wife right. in the car, his kids like Why? two, three years old. <laughs> he pulling up, like what herb at? You feel what I'm saying? Right. Cause he was trying to be my manager and shit. You feel what I'm right. saying? Like, and that That's made hard. me gravitate to him. I'm like, damn, this nigga really pulling up right here with his family. And the danger zone. And the danger is red zone. <laughs> right. Same life right. and acid. Right. He pulling up four, five times, right. like straight. Like, come right. on, shorty, I fuck with you. I'm like, damn. He, he's solid for that with his family though. Like right. he coming from church doing this too. Right, oh, it's a little crazy. Wow. <laughs> but how was it working with Juice World? Man, Juice mm. was—he was like a. If you could describe it, it's like one of them, like one in a billion phenomenons. Like when you see him, I ain't even—I'm not even being funny. Like the when you when we first ever met Juice. And we just used to see his recording process alone, like mm -hmm. how he used to get in the studio and make like six songs in a row. But damn this, like he then made 12, 13 songs because for each song he doing two, three covers mm -hmm. with different patterns. Like yeah. he not saying the same shit, mm -hmm. not using the same hook. He doing this for like five, six songs straight, but making two, three covers. And wow. This, the first shit he's saying so hard, we not wanting him to erase it. We like, what the fuck? Wait, he's he erasing it afterwards? He yeah, he ain't even using it no more. Oh, like, he not stashing no one version of the other man. No. Yeah, yeah. He just using the one he wanna use. We like, man, like it was some crazy shit. We never seen nothing like that, man. It's, and this <laughs> ass just like was really in love with the craft, like the art of it. You feel what I'm uh -huh. saying? Like, and it was weird working with him like at first, and like, cause 
he was like his shit. He he worked, he's such a natural rare talent, and right. that was back when I was doing it still writing verses. Oh, you write a long verses time. Long? Like I be off the top now. A little, like okay, uh, I, I, I hit applause. <laughs> I hit applause. I hit applause. <laughs> yeah, but that was like when I was really still writing shit on the phone, and he used to go so like quick freestyling and so and that shit was so hard I'm like it's taking me a long time and like you feel me like I'm feel, I felt like I couldn't really like vibe like that but he right. one of the reasons why I stopped writing a little bit like All I right. just used to like go off the vibe with him he had make you do 10, 15 songs like you feel what I'm saying wow. like cause I'm looking at it like I ain't gonna lie it was crazy now I'm looking back at it now that little bro did like I wasn't really realizing like how much he really looked up to me. You feel mm. what I'm saying? Like, mm. like on a, like him being a fan of my music. Wow. I'm so a fan of his shit because I never seen nothing like him before, and he's so big. But he's right. just such a genuine person. He's not even really realizing how big he is for real, for right. real. He happy to just be doing what he doing. You feel what right. I'm saying? Like he trying to do songs with me because he thinking he's stacking up 15 G Herbo verses, and I'm telling mm. him like, shorty, you the biggest shit in the world. Like, right. I'm not finna be rapping on all these songs because all these not even finna come out, bro. You on some right. pop star shit. You, we might drop one of these for my album, one of these for yours for real, but it's like, I feel like he was challenging me to be better too. Like, right. you feel me? But I'm not even looking at it like that. You know, like, it was just, that nigga, he, when I look back at it, like, I, I, that's like, I never seen nobody like that. You feel me? Like, and I didn't hear that shit from like Pluto, from Thug, like, from motherfuckers that, like, them really the goats of this shit. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that right. really didn't locked in with bro and right. seeing his recording process and feeling like that's some shit they ain't never seen before. All you right. know what I mean? Like, his little ass was different. Do you think Juice World saw how big he was prior to him passing? Um, I mean, yeah. I feel like, yeah. And then, no one away could just know him. He's so humble. Like, he wasn't really, like, you feel He was just in love with the art of him the just craft, doing man. music. He knowing he big as fuck, of course, he knowing. But it's like, I don't even, I think he was having so much fun with it, he wasn't even plotting on how big he could go. Like, right. you feel me? He wasn't even, like, on some, as far as, like, just embracing it like that's the thing that's what I mean I feel like he would have been 10 times bigger if he just embraced how big he was you feel right. me him just being such a real nigga a pure soul he ain't even like was popping it we used to tell him like pop it shorty like right. get out here and shit on niggas like he, right. that was right. never his thing like right. we been telling him to do that like boy shit on niggas boy right. you the one you feel right. me like act like you the one mm -hmm. he never was on that you feel me like that's what I mean like, great I'm, I'm bouncing around a little bit I'm gonna bounce around a little yeah. bit, right? This is something that I always wanted to ask people from, from Chicago, right? They said that it was a plot to kind of like get rid of all the OGs, like, you know, uh, uh, the Larry Hoovers, right? The Cointel Pro shit. Yeah, that. Like, like. Yeah, I, I used to hear about that shit. And that's how the city became wild like it is. You think that's true? I believe, shit, if it's like. I ain't gonna say I'm like a conspiracy theorist, like belief type of nigga, but like once I hear like how they break it down and shit, yeah, I do believe that shit was right. true because it's not no coincidence right. like how shit happened or don't happen. You feel what I'm saying? Like no matter, regardless, I can't. I'm of I'm 28, so I can't really say I'm right. like really really happened in the past. Mm -hmm. But as far as it, when me knowing when I grew up, it being no guidance out here for real, it wasn't right. like you feel right. what I'm saying. You even had people who was like. And that's crazy you said that because I was having a conversation with one of my homies not too long ago. Like, like even in certain neighborhoods, people was really even scared to even feel like, all right, I got authority. Like, I'm finna mm. try to tell these little shorties what to do or not be out here or don't, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. they scared to get on some kingpin shit. They think a right. motherfucker gonna grab them just for oh, them okay. and being having, right. like, the ability to tell people what to do or orchestrate even if it is some positive outcome like you right. feel me like these might be a, a, a neighborhood full of street niggas who got cr criminal charges or whatever but one person come and be like alright I'm finna straighten this shit up woo woo right. they might really look at them like they on some chief type shit you feel right. me and they ain't doing nothing but trying to right. make the shit better you feel me like I was having a conversation with my homie like and that's basically touching on the same point you just made but remember it's not a conspiracy anymore Cointel Pro has been proven that that's yeah. the real thing that yeah. the FBI was doing right. back then exactly and depending on what you think the intention was but they was really doing that and they was bringing people in they was taking apart these organizations from the top 
Right. And those organizations back then were really trying to do community based things. It wasn't right. really street shit back exactly. then. Exactly. Like like my brother, um <clears throat> he's 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 Latino, but um when Capri Green was up, you know, I wanted to go to Capri Green. This is good time projects fun, yeah. dude. I like, yo, I gotta go right. I got and they're like this is this restaurant called Sammy's. You know, it's yeah. fried chicken spice, it's nothing crazy, but I had to go. My brother got, you know, the the, the cosign, and when I got there, yeah. I felt the most safest I ever felt in my life. It was I felt like everyone was just around, just like, yo, Nori's here, like, right. you know what I mean? And the police came, searched me and shit. The whole neighborhood was with me, like, yeah. yo, get, you, get Lady Nori alone. I was like, oh, shit. That's, and that's, that was in the 90s, though, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing about Chicago, though, like, uh -huh. people, would, you would feel that type of love, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, And, like, that being a project... Mm. I ain't from no project building, mm. but back then when projects was up, like everybody knew everybody. So right. basically, if in a project, it's probably 80, 60% of they ass all related, right. families and shit, staying right. all through this shit. So you feel me? You would get that type of vibe. If somebody fuck with you, they gonna definitely make sure you straight. I'm sure right. you probably felt right. like yeah, nah, it nah. was some real love because nah. I didn't been to New York and felt like right. that. Like yep. young nigga, like 18 years old, and I'm going outside and I'm really feeling like, oh yeah, I'm posting up in New York for right. two hours, three hours. I'm all through all type of boroughs. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like you right. would really feel like that. And when you go to the hood and just embrace right. it, you feel me? Like right. now, let's talk about P uh, PTSD. D. I know we were talking about Juice yeah. World earlier, but so my, you think you have PTSD? Yeah, what I got, is that? Post traumatic, I got post -traumatic stress? stress disorder. Yeah. yeah, I got diagnosed with it. I got really. Yeah, that's the shit that motherfuckers in war get, right? Yeah, yeah, but they, they, you can get it. What? Yeah, I had that was I was I was going to therapy though. That was when I first started going to therapy. My Man, therapy. So diagnosed. wise for your age, but continue. continue. Yeah, I, I started going to therapy. Probably, what year that was? 2019, 2018, right. and just talking to my therapist, she diagnosed me with post-traumatic stress disorder. Cause I was, I really, I ain't gonna lie, I was fighting the case at the time though. Like I had got arrested in 2018. Oh, when, for the my, guns? when my son was born, yeah, I got arrested for, for some guns uh -huh. um, in Chicago. That's when I was living in Chicago, right. you feel me? Right before I moved to LA. Um, and I was really just, you know, I, me living out there, I ain't had no security. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And I was, even in that situation, like I said, accountability. I'm talking to my therapist. Like, I ain't never really felt safe leaving out my house since I was 14, 15 years old. You feel what I'm saying? Like, wow. And we haven't. I was I was with um, with with, with Southside when that happened, that, that mm. situation, when I got arrested for the guns. You feel me? Like, mm. Bro was already a millionaire. He had security with him. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They was able to get his security guard, um, Cello, who was on the case. He did, and that guy was so. That was his security guard who we paid staff. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm living in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able to have no security guard. Mm -hmm. So me carrying a firearm, I was, you know what I'm saying, basically just telling my therapist, I'm telling the same shit with the lawyer. I'm fighting right. the case, but I was able to get off on that uh, misdemeanor. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I really like, I didn't even know what they're like, the therapy, the whole situation to me going. Like, right. it was me taking a chance. You feel what I'm saying? I was, I ain't really open up to like nobody in my life. You did it on your own? You chose to go to therapy on your own? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. It was really like, it wasn't no court stipulation right. or nothing like that. I was talking to my lawyer, and my lawyer like kind of insisted on me going. Mm. And I right. just took the chance and just really went on my own. You feel me? But right. like I said, like taking that, that leadership role, Early on, it just, I don't really, I feel like me complaining about my situation and what I got going on to the people around that that's really dependent on me. It's like, that's not really, if I'm saying, going, right. it's a, that's, that's the, I feel like that's the, that's, that's what's pro, what's really wrong. Like, with, for lack of a better term, what the fuck I'm trying to say, like the, that stipulation that, that they that they put on black men growing up just not being able to open up like you can't people, vent to anybody vent right to people around you and your family yeah. open up to your mother open up to your girl to whoever like the macho you, side you like you can't you do that right take it on you know what I'm yeah. saying so it's like and ain't nobody referring therapy so it's like mm -hmm. I was really I I didn't even feel like it was going to be helpful at first, to be honest, you know right, what I'm saying, when right. I first started going. But it was, though. Like, I ain't going to lie, just me just talking to her about everything I grew up, like, experiencing and everything that I was going through as a man at that time. And she just went on her own and, and diagnosed me with post-traumatic stress disorder and actually sent it to 
the courts when I was fighting the case at the time, and that's how I was able to really get get off on the whole situation and and, and get and, and and get it down to a to a misdemeanor, basically. What did, what did they give you for that? What the post? Yeah, I had um, I got diagnosed. I got the medical card. They gave me. Oh, they gave you weed. Yeah, oh, it was makes noise for weed. <laughs> No, he about to go. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. That's fire. Yeah. Legally. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, got, I, got, I got my car legally. Yeah, that's how I was able to get it, through, mm -hmm. through having post-traumatic stress disorder. You okay. know what? And it's like, man, really, that's why I had I named my album PTSD, because it all had happened around the same time, and that's why I put all those people that I had lost on my cover. Like, it was right. over 50 people on the wow. flag, 50 dead faces, you feel what I'm saying? Because I'm talking about all this in therapy, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, everything I experienced, and it's like, just the reality of a nigga experiencing, seeing so much death, but you were able to just act normal all day, navigate through your life, like, ain't nothing going on. Right. They're still going to school, and they're still going to work, and they're still providing for their family, taking care of their kids, but all is still on your mind every day. And if we don't really talk about it, it's like, you got to find a way to, like, compartmentalize with all of that. You feel me? You can't really hold it in and still think you're going to have a level playing field nah, when yeah. you're dealing with life. You're going to always be on a roller coaster. You feel what I'm saying? Because and on edge, time, too. Yeah, on edge, because most times when you're really able to release and be yourself, you're around the people that you're most comfortable with and them people you love. Mm -hmm. So you probably exploding on your woman, exploding mm -hmm. on your kids, or you know what I'm saying, on your mom, whoever the case may be. You right. feel me? So, like, because, or you, or you really, like, Hold it in where you just go to make a decision that you can't even shit come back from for the rest of your life. That's how a nigga wind up getting killed. Right. A nigga mm -hmm. wind up going to jail because you wear this shit on your shoulder and then you snap where a 10 second decision costs you the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's why I started to like open up about therapy and name my album PTSD and just openly just wear that shit because I felt like that was a time in my life when I was most vulnerable. So I was just rapping about it. You feel me? Was any soldiers offended by that? Because, like, I, I guess that's the most of the people who get diagnosed with that. Uh huh. No, nah, because I really, I did really get clinically diagnosed. Right. So I'm opening up about therapy. You feel what I'm saying? And right. I was like, I wasn't saying I was like firsthand, like paying homage to soldiers, but I was talking about like how people who live regular everyday lives suffer from the same. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Diagnosis that somebody who go to war, who signed up for yeah. this. You know what I'm saying? Not not saying that w they work is unnoticed. Of course, the right. people put their life on the line every day on a on a scale that uh, we couldn't even imagine. You feel? Yeah, saying? and everybody's but different. At how the you end of the day, that. it's people who live an everyday life that didn't sign up for that. And right. at the end of the day, it is what it is. Post traumatic stress disorder is post traumatic stress disorder, no matter how you put it. And it depends on like people get it in car accidents. People have right. car accidents. Exactly. They get, yeah, they, they get, get diagnosed. I'm thinking it was just war. Nah, you nah, get it's not just yeah, yeah uh, domestic it abuse. They get that shit. Or one rob, you get robbed one time. People they right. they get post traumatic. It's like yeah, really? it's, just, yeah, it's yeah. Just really having. Like certain situations that you've been through that that trigger you, yeah. Right. On a on a day to day basis, so it might be one thing that happened ten years ago, but it's like every time you get in the car, like you said, yeah. right. you're thinking about the situation, or every time you on a bus stop, you're thinking about a situation because yeah. something happened on a bus stop. You see? Right. Let, let me ask you, how you how you become this wise? Like, because I know we 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 touched on the fact that you're 28, but your brain is not 28. Like, yeah. You 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 advanced in this shit. Like I, I sit here, like almost like I'm talking to my peer. Like I know you younger than me, but your brain ain't telling me that at all. Like how'd you get that wise? Man, I think I was just really, to be honest, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, man. I just been outside for a long time. Like all right. really just since I was probably 12, 13 years old, I've been hanging with my big brother. He old he five years older than me. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, just for five I'll, years older than he's thirty three. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so which means like, that he's forty three. Right, basically. All right, cool. Basically. Yeah, because y'all think right it's wise, b. It's like I just been always, and and that don't really got nothing to do with like how I think, of course. But like I think I just I looked up to him and. I already had like some type of just structure, just being my own own man. You feel what I'm saying it. Mm. And where I grew up at is like you gotta. I ain't even being. I ain't even lying, bro. Like you damn it. Even if you're not in the streets, you gotta damn that be wise, or you gotta like be a little. It's like 
you gotta be a little witty right. <laughs> in some type of way. Right. Growing up where I came up, you feel what I'm saying? Because everybody like out for something. Right. Everybody wants something up out you. You feel right. what I'm saying? Like, so when I'm 15, 16 years old and I'm trying to rap, and at the end of the day, my name, I'm buzzing. I'm really in my neighborhood. I'm having all type of street shit going on. You mm -hmm. feel me? So it's like, I got to be twice as sharp. Like, I really wasn't hanging with people my age. I was hanging mm. with people older than me. I'm 13. I'm hanging around 18, 19, 20, mm. sometimes 25 years old. You feel mm. what I'm saying? And like, and I got to, you know, I'm going to get a lot of credit to my pops too, though. My dad put a lot of, a lot of structure in me growing up. You feel me? But my, when, when I was outside in the streets, I was on my own though. You feel right. me? Like, I just had to take what he gave me and try to use that to navigate. You feel me? But, I don't know, it was just experience a lot of life. I've been through a lot of shit early on and just mm -hmm. like took it for what it is. Like, you know, I think that's why like going back to the therapy, that shit helped me because like the shit was so normal where I come from. Like you right. can't really complain about, I feel like I said that before and I don't want to sound like crazy or like biased or nothing. Like I feel like a nigga like me, I, I, I feel like I can't even complain about my situation or whatever I go through because I didn't see it and experience much worse. Like, mm -hmm. in the hood where I come from, like, you think your situation bad, then you look at one of your homies like, damn, he got it worse, way worse. Mm -hmm. Well, this nigga got it 10 times worse than me. Like, mm -hmm. it make you just over grateful. Like, that's how I had that mentality when I was younger because I'm seeing shit. Like, you know, I done been in the trenches where shit is so fucked up. Like, niggas growing up even worse than I'm seeing. So it's like, damn. I always had a reason to just be like, all right, my shit ain't so bad, you feel me? Even yeah. the worst of the worst situations, you feel me? And I want you to enjoy it a little more, man. Yeah. Enjoy it because I got I got a friend, I don't want to say his name. Like, we hang out, right? And then we don't even want to take pictures because we got survivor's remorse. We just mm -hmm. sitting around thinking right. like, all right, we, once we take a picture, there's going to be people hating. Um, bro. And that's like fucked up. Yeah. Like, our wives be looking at each other like, y'all some suckers. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, bro. Like, we out, like, three days a week. <laughs> and like, y'all, no, nah, we're we're over here. We don't want to take this picture. No. Like, fuck that. Oh, um, bro. I got an I'm album called take Survivors of Morse, though. Huh? I got a real album called Survivors of Morse. I know, nigga, that's like, why I said it. That's why I said it. Come on, nigga, I'm on like, point, nigga. Come I'm on. Come on. But I know, I know you said, but it's like the shit, it's, that shit like second nature though, you feel me? I don't mm -hmm. even think nigga intentionally really be, th it's like, we, like you said, like in the beginning of the interview, like you answer your phone so much, sometimes you just don't even want to deal with the energy of certain shit that's just well, not I need to change my number. Survivors of Morse, you feel me? Yeah, I say that shit all the time. I haven't changed. I've never changed. <laughs> Man, I say that nah, shit all the time, I be wanting to change my number, but then it's like, I be thinking like, I know. Yeah, right. my fuck. What if somebody really? Yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's, that's yeah. real. <laughs> yeah, nigga, really be feeling like that. That's real shit. How, well, how much? Well. How much you think fatherhood has helped you mature as well? A hundred percent. I feel like fatherhood is. If it wasn't for me really having my first kid, I would like. I know I wouldn't have really like grew up and and, and just like been on some shit where, like, I know like what what having a kid teach you is. Yo, first and foremost, like your main responsibility, you owe everything to them. So you gotta right. make decisions knowing that I right, you owe everything right. to your kids. Because like, what happens to you before, happens to them. Exactly. Right. So before you had kids, you feel like you owe something to a motherfucker. But when you really had kids, you're like, oh no, I really don't owe nobody shit. I owe right. my kids everything. Right. Right. So I, you know, like that just like changed my whole way of thinking when I had children. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, and then like. No funny shit. People always ask me like, "What's my like, like most place of comfort or happiest place?" Like, no matter what I'm going through, when I'm around my kids, I could literally just zone out and not think about nothing. Like, no matter what, like, Fine. regardless. Like, I don't feel like I had no other vice. Like, studio, all that should be therapeutic. Cue, like, you know, I love what I do, but like, my purest place is just like, no matter what, I could be like the most depressed ever. And be in the room with my kids, and then that shit just literally go away. You feel what right. I'm saying? So like, like even if it's for the time being, to being around my kids, and then when that's over, with, I snap back right into right. whatever reality. Like I feel like that's the purest form of love. You feel what I'm saying? The purest so people. Like, exactly. Right. So like, and then it's like another thing is too that should be tweaking me out. Like no matter what, like I'm learning. And my my oldest, you know, your son, he five, he can be six years old. Like. 
he know what's going on, but at the end of the day, your kids don't really know, like, they don't know who I am or what oh, I am. Oh, no, they don't think you're cool or nothing. They don't give a fuck about none yeah. of that, you feel yeah. me? No, yeah, they don't oh, know. I ain't gonna lie, exactly. I still think I'm corny to my kids. They, you well, always then feel like, like that. Like, he, like, that, like oh, the last thing I watched with my son, I watched Ted. I know that's inappropriate. But who, with Nafi? No, with Noah, my youngest. <laughs> we watched Ted the series. You seen that shit on Peacock? Mm-hmm. It's I very racist. It's very racist, but it's hilarious. Ted, the Teddy Ted? Ted? Yeah, he has a series. Oh, yeah, son, oh, you think I'm bullshit? My son put me on dead, but I ain't never see that shit until my son watched that shit. He ain't supposed to be watching that shit. <laughs> no, no, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bad father. Let me just throw that out there. <laughs> Let me throw that out there, though. My wife Don't say you're a bad father. No, I'm not a bad father. <laughs> but in this situation, yeah. my son was like, Dad, can I watch it? And I, I started to realize he's asking me to watch right. it because he wants to watch it. <laughs> right. So I'm looking there, and then... My wife's getting her hair done. I'm getting um, a haircut. And everybody in the house is just looking like, oh, my God. Right. <laughs> and I'm sitting there with my son. And I looked. I was like, damn, I'm kind of foul. Look, look. Like, <laughs> nah, he just made that point, though. But that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it to say, like, yo, kids don't really know, like, who you. Like, my son, he be wanting to do the most random shit. And I got to do it. Like, where? Like, wherever we at, he want to go to whatever Target. He want to go right, out right. to the the closest jumpy house, the nearest arcade, just random shit how, for the how, moment. How old? How, how, He's five years old. Oh, okay, okay. I be having to go do that shit, no matter if it's a million fans in there. Like, okay, I don't. Oh. I just go do it, because that's what he wants to do. Like, he not thinking about that right. type of shit, and he not knowing, like, you feel me? So, that's what I'm saying, yo, kids, how you most, how you doing the most random shit, like, fuck it, like, uh. you just say, fuck it. I always do that with my kid, like, fuck it. You gonna do it. He got the fatherhood podcast. Yeah, dude. Let's make some noise for your fatherhood podcast. I got, I got a five year old too. Let's do it. Let's do it. He don't do nothing. He don't leave the house for shit <laughs> at all. I do all kinds of shit. Yeah, and go right back home. My kids. I be having to be yeah. active and shit with my kids. Man, right. they too busy. Uh huh. Fuck the whole crib up. You gotta leave out. How many kids you have? Three. Three. Yeah, yeah. What's the ages? Two and one. Oh, oh, Man, you gotta, oh. Woo, got Good a baby luck. in there. Good luck. Good luck. My kids is 14. They going through puberty. I got to have the birds and the bees. I don't know if they already had the birds and bees. I don't know. Like, I'm scared. I'm scared. Like, they, they oh, damn bro. near the homies and shit. Birds. <laughs> They be telling me, let's go to you the gym. I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> I know why they want to go to the gym. It's different. Mm-hmm. I'm married, god damn it. All right, listen, so we got a game. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, let's get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Handle that, handle that. We want to we wanted let you know how much we appreciate you, how much you're a legend, how much love in hip-hop you got. Because, I, you know, that's one thing I do. When I interview yeah. a guest, I call. I just call everybody, and everybody, yo, I kid you not, you wanted like the third guest. Maybe you look. Like, you're up. You're up there, like that. Nobody had nothing bad to say. Oh, bro. I, I, I was like, that's <laughs> fucking fire. Oh, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody was like, yo, man, it's a stand up dude. It's a good dude. You know what I mean? And so our show is about giving people their flowers. So that's we right. want to give you your motherfucking flowers. Yeah, man. Man, man. Snoop, Snoop Dogg hey. said. Snoop Dogg said it's like a Grammy because it's coming from the, you know your that. people. You know and this, this, is, this is your people, man. Hey. This is your house. Hey, man. Appreciate you. We want you to know. Appreciate you. I want you to know that. All right. Before we get to uh, quick, uh, quick time of slime. Yeah. I want to. Um, I want to. I want to say something. And just. I want you to tell me. What, you, what do you hear? Uh, when I say this. When I say this. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Humble beast. Well, I think hunger. Like, hunger? Yeah. Mm. Hunger. Throw uh, the car bones one. immediately. Sorry. More than one? Huh? More than one? Like, what? more than one oh, thing? Oh, no, 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 no. Whatever you, whatever you right. think. I'm a beast. I think hunger, man. Hunger? I think uh, uh, dedication. I think I think goal-oriented. Mm. I was on a mission. One. Goal? Yeah. Goal-oriented. Goal, 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 goal. Yeah, goal-oriented, goal. for sure. Mm-hmm. Like, um... I figured I had uh, I think uh, having a point to prove mm. I had something to prove to myself I feel like at that time and mm. like to the industry you know mm. with that being my like debut album like on some shit okay still swerving still swerving um consistency like uh I think uh 
living life, having fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, uh, shit, uh, I think a goddamn it, um, swerving on bro, <laughs> swerving, mm-hmm. and what I think, uh, I think, uh, a shit, gratefulness on bro, being grateful mm-hmm. around that time on Brody. Okay. PTSD. PTSD. Mm-hmm. I think, uh, Chicago. Mm. I think, uh, hustling. Mm. Um, I think, uh, <clears throat> shit, savage life. Mm. Think of death. Mm. Mm. Um, shit, I think of grieving. Mm. Pain, anger. Mm. Um, and shit, I think uh, vulnerability mm. and and awareness. Twenty five. Twenty five. I think uh, um, survivor's remorse. I think of grief. You can't say that. Gratefulness. I do. That's, that's my next question. Oh, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm 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 go into each other. Let's rewind though. that. Let's rewind I'm that. I'm gonna go into that with that. Though, <laughs> okay, but let's okay. Rewind that, oh, though. Dad, yeah. oh, you 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 doing my interview? Like, I'm going, I ain't gonna I'm, lie. I'm, that was fire. Way, but for two, 25, I think a, I think a gratefulness too, though. Okay. I think a gratefulness. I think a life. I think a celebration. Mm. Um. I think a grief. Mm. Um. And well, I think uh. I think a uh, victory. Mm. And now survivors remorse. Um, survivors remorse, I think a uh, sorrow, mm. anger again. Um, I think a uh, confusion. Mm. Um, I think uh, um, I think a uh, resentfulness. Mm. Um, I don't know if I said pain, but I think of pain again. Mm-hmm. The reason, um, the reason why I had was like I had said survivors of more sin when I said the, the two five was cause like turning twenty five was like a like that whole time like period of me just where I was as an artist, as a man, everywhere just like actually being grateful to turn twenty five, such a young age is really crazy as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, And now that I'm 28, finna be 30, right. you feel me? It's still being young, but you just be grateful for them years because niggas really don't get that far where I come from. A lot of my homies didn't get to see 18, wow. 21, you know? Wow. So being turned to 25, like, and that was one of my last birthdays that I turned with my little brother, you feel me? Um, my little brother, uh, he he died seven days before his twenty fifth birthday. God bless. Me, like you God know, God. two plus five is seven. Like that right. was the whole reason why I was like putting that whole album two five together. You feel what I'm saying? It was just like it was a different like just time or you know like that let you know like well where we are mentally, not just me. Like everybody around, everybody I ever know knew growing up. Like it was like of course everybody excited to see their twenty fifth birthday, but. Where I come from, we feel like it's a milestone to even be alive at 25, right. not to actually Damn. enjoy your 25th birthday and have wow. fun, you feel me? Right. Like, nigga just happy to be here, you lost mm-hmm. so much, you feel me? So it's like, looking back at that, I feel like, shit, I, I, I feel like I wish, you know, nigga would have like celebrated like more, you mm. feel me? With that being like my last birthday even with, you know, cause I had a ball, like, you feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But I'm just saying like, not even, not even like, what I mean is like on some just like festive shit. Like not even my whole 25th birthday was around the fact of just being grateful to be alive. You feel me? And my little brother didn't even see his 25th birthday, so that it was like it was like a weird feeling for me. You know? God bless, man. God bless, um, bro. But bro. nigga, just that's why I be having that mindset. Nigga, just be grateful for shit. You feel me? Right. Be ready for quick time slime. You want to explain yeah. to him the rules? Yeah, we're going to give you two choices. Right. You, you pick one and 
We not drinking Quick time on slime Yeah, yeah. Right. Two choices You get two choices There's a list of things These guys over here Came up with yeah. this list So don't blame yeah. us it's a Colombian and a Dominican Alright So you get two choices You pick one know. Nobody don't, drinks Don't go together If you say both Like you say uh, uh, Both of them So what do Quick time on slime What it's, quick, that's just the name, name of the, the game we play. Yeah. It's a drinking game. Yeah, 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 you're yeah. picking something. But if you if you say both or neither, we're drinking. All of us are drinking. Oh, uh, okay. If, but if you pick, nobody both drinks. Neither, if you right. pick something, pick, nobody, nobody drinks. Drink. Right. But if you don't pick, basically, we're drinking. Yeah, I remember this. I remember right. this game. Are right. you ready? Yeah. And go light with the shots because it's a long game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go light with the shots. Yeah. We, we, okay, you ready? This is your shot town This is going to fuck you up right now. You ready? Let's do it. Chief Keef or Lil Durk? So, so. Okay, that's Chief Keef. Right. Tupac or DMX? Tupac. Okay. Mm. Drake or Lil Wayne? Wayne. Nas or Jada Kiss? Kiss. And if you got something to say about that, Right, if you want to elaborate, tell a story, anything. Right, but J the kids. Okay. Kanye West or No ID? Obviously, produce it. And obviously, both Chicago. Both Chicago. Um, I'm going to go No ID. Mm. As, um, you know, Big Bro, he was one of the first to ever really embrace me, too, though. Really? I like, yeah. No ID? I got, I got, like, I got placements, like, songs with No ID when I'm, like, 16 years old when I first started rapping. Like, and you work with Common, who's No yeah, ID. Yeah, exactly. That was, um, Put, that was the whole play. No ID put that whole play together yeah. with, with comedy, you feel what I'm saying? And Big Bro always just been like a mentor for me. Like I know if there's anything I really need to like right. get off of, if I ever need to come to him for any advice, it's just a phone call. You feel me? So That's fire. That's a big, big dog too. Got a shout out to Big That's Bro. A big like, dog. He always showed me love from the beginning since day one. Juice World or P and B Rock? Um Rest in peace. Oh. I could do both. You, of course, that's, 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 that's called us. Take a I shot. Do both. Yes. Let's take a yes, shot. Sir. Both of my brothers. I've been feeding him. Take a shot. Let's do it. <laughs> Salute. Salute. But I, I wanted you to go with, go with the right choices. Mm. <laughs> Throw some ice in there. <laughs> <laughs> that next. Even if damn. It's small shot. Damn, that shit Let's got me. We back, baby. We back. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 hey man, I don't know if I can say it, but yeah, I'm gonna say it. I don't want to take a shot from my brother P and B anyway, yeah, yeah, so I still yeah, yeah, gotta yeah, take yeah. that. Yes, well, Damn. Damn. Future or Twenty One Savage? Uh, you could take a shot. You know, yeah, we're gonna niggas. take a shot. Let's that's take that's a shot. right, well, brother, brother, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Don't choose. Don't choose the side. Don't choose the side. That's a two headed goat. Oof. Yeah. Ice Cube and that motherfucker. I've been holding this. Ice Cube on the shot. That's chilling. Mm. Common or Lupe Fiasco? Um, Common. Okay. Southside or Metro Boomin? We'll take a shot on photo. That's, that's another two headed goat. Mm. Sorry about that. Drink it. You know what he's drinking? <laughs> what that was? It's called Mama Wana. But he, it's not from Dominican Republic. What is it? Is made so in a tub in Kindle. <laughs> he make that shit up, bro. He's telling you, man. Don't, that's don't the life. switch that's up. The, don't start the, getting uh, nice. What the and he shit? gonna ask you for a shot of what his that shit. That shit called off point. life the movie, you the bathtub. You should, you should try it. You should try it. You should try it. Did I tell you? I ain't fucking with it. Come on. I ain't fucking with it. I'm off the By the way, the best bathtub in Kindle. Homemade ain't even a candle. I know it's some top shelf shit. I'm drinking it anyway. Just let me run It's homemade brew for sure. I ain't take mine. For sure. Man, I'm sorry. I'm so I'm so happy you came here, man. man For real, man. It, I want to give you a flower, man. 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 You're really good. Really and your fans is crazy, by the way. I tweeted out. Y'all got questions with T Herbal. They went crazy. Your fans. You got some crazy ass fucking fans, yeah, bro. They, yeah. They in tune, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, podcast or radio? Podcast. Okay. Dropped. Podcast. podcast. Okay. Podcast. <laughs> Right, this nigga. is a good one. Real nigga, man. This is a good one. Cat Williams or Kevin Hart? Don't take a shot. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna take a shot. I don't want no smoke, man. That's the Dominican in the club, you know, man. They trying to get us both in trouble, bro. I'm gonna take a shot, man. <laughs> we, we outside. We love them both. 
Shout out to But it's entertaining. I've never seen comedians that They're out of beat. control. They're out of control. I'm so happy. Y'all. Yo, go ahead. Man, that's go. the funniest shit on the internet. Right? The craziest shit. It's just dope. You, 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 you ain't happy. But I, I want to I, I fuck with everybody getting along and spreading love. 100%. 100%. But yeah, entertainment but. is entertainment. That's the name of the game, yeah. right? But I'm like that other people was beefing other than rappers. Yeah, That's exactly. Hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. <laughs> That's hard. That's hard. Come on, that motherfucker ain't gonna clap for that. They just want rappers to beef. God damn it. Okay. Where we at? Luda or Ti? Oh, uh, did I take a shot? Do I owe a shot? Yeah, take a okay, shot. Take right. a shot. Fuck. Uh, tip. Hmm. Okay. Rick Ross or Jeezy? Hmm. Uh. Take a shot, man. Okay. Fuck. Yeah. Take a shot, man, for big bro now. It's going down. Okay. He putting the ice on every shot, bro? Man, that shit is hot as fuck. I don't like it. I don't like it. That shit is like Russia. It's not cheating, man. <laughs> DJ Drama or DJ Khaled? Drama. Mm. Scarface or Ice Cube? What we say, Drama or Khaled? We got to take a shot. Take a shot. Oh, you, you reneged on your hands? <laughs> I Take, a that. <laughs> Take a shot. Take a shot. I'm a little, I'm a little tipsy. I had to t- consume the question a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm in. I didn't Take even a remember. Shot for answered. Big Bro no, no. We don't remember. That's another two headed girl. All right, Scarface or Ice Cube? Mm. Scarface. Boys in the Hood or Menace to Society? Menace to Society. Mm. L.A. or Miami? Uh, L.A. Travis Scott or ASAP Rocky? Travis. Biggie or Big L? Biggie. Outcast or UGK? UGK. Hey, who said that? Come on, bro. Relax. Photo G or Little Reese? Take a shot. Okay. I respect that. Oof. Big them both up. Cheers. Bro, take a shot for photo. Salute. Take a nice. <laughs> so what we do is like, yeah. it's, it's a, still hot. It's, a, it's like fucking taking a coffee shot. <laughs> Little Bibby or Rocky Fresh? Bibby. Little Yachty or Little Uzi? Take a shot. Oh, Take bro, a man. shot. That being Yeah. These are some good ass questions, by the way. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kodak or Denzel Curry? Kodak. Last one. It's the most important one. Most important one. Loyalty or respect? Respect. Explain. Because. I'm built off loyalty. I'm a loyal person anyway. You feel what I'm saying? And you can't really, if people don't really have loyalty, you can't probably instill that in them. But I'm going to make you respect me if you don't respect me. I demand respect regardless of what. You don't have to be loyal to me. You don't have to be whatever. But you're going to have to be respectful of me because I'm a leader of respect. Man. Whatever. I don't have to enforce loyalty. I enforce respect upon anybody. Mm. So respect. So you went with respect? I'm going with respect. Going with respect. I ain't gonna lie. You're not supposed to take a shot for that, but I think we should. <laughs> we take a shot for that. I mean, that was a hard answer. Like, that was hard. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I was fucked up. I was like, let's take time. a shot for that. Yeah, I gotta take a Just shot. say you wanna take a shot, bro. That's I mean, that, do you not wanna take a shot for that answer? Like, it deserves a, that answer deserves a shot. I'll do it for myself. Y'all can say, y'all, 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 the Academy Award for Glory for wanting to take a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take a shot. <laughs> All right, cool. I wanted to take a shot too. But that fucking answer was awesome. Oh, bro. Mm. Going back to to no ID putting you with Common, right? Did you record with Common in the studio? Um, no, nah, no. Nah, uh, um, have y'all linked though? Yeah, hell yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with Common so tough, man. I was, you know, it's crazy. I actually was supposed to start acting like years ago, man. But I, mm. I really was just so focused on rap. Like I, ain't, I was like, I'm, I'm a type of person. Like I ain't gonna say I'm stubborn, but in a way, when I'm Super focused on something like got milestones set for myself. I just gotta do one thing. Like I was supposed to really been in uh, when they did um, which one was he in? Was Commons and Barbershop Three? Right. I believe I was supposed to. I was supposed to been in that. And which I is was, set in Chicago, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. 
I went and I went and I went and uh, went over my script with him. He mm. booked me. Yeah, he had me pull up on him at his hotel. I was yeah, Muslim was, boy, you on it. I feel like he smells like baby powder. Nah, nah, hell yeah, nah, big bro. <laughs> that's, that's too I ain't gonna much, lie, bro. that was my first time. He was at a nice ass, <laughs> nice ass suite. I forgot what hotel it was. It was a minute ago. He had me pull up to him. And I went over my script with him for like two, three hours, you feel me? Big bro always just embraced me, like even on rap shit and just anything. Like he hit me like, oh, you got the, they, they trying to get you the role. I pulled up on him, went over the script, you feel me? He he kind of wanted me to do my video and send it in right there, but I ain't gonna lie, I was on some nervous shit. I ain't do it right then. I had, oh, because it was an audition that you were doing? Basically, yeah. I had went over the script the video with him. I ain't sending the shit in. Oh, you right wildin', man. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't sending the shit. I was supposed to have been in Barbershop 3. Damn. What, what would have been your role if you would have been in there? I think I was supposed to be, um, you know, Tariq from Pal. He was in there. Tariq was in there. He played, uh, I think he was Ice Cube's son or some shit. Oh. And I was supposed to be his homie. The other, oh. the other, the other, the other nigga. He's in the video. So well, somewhere one, there's a one video of them on that niggas shit. that was game banging. One of them type of little Chicago niggas or something. Well, not the niggas that was, uh, took the cashiers, the ATM. Nah, this was three. Oh, this is three. I'm bugging. Yeah, three. I'm there. That's, that's one. I'm talking. But, that, but that's dope that Common took the time to do that yeah, with you. Yeah, do that right. Yeah, to have. And the reason I'm that's asking the whole point of it because it's ill. Like it's like Chicago from this era and this era. Like like how is that coming together? Like y'all y'all discussing yeah, the nah, state of affairs of Chicago. Big bro ben really, you know, he been just always like reached out and like show love, took a liking to me from the beginning. Like, right. When my first project I dropped, Walking the Phaso Land. Matter of fact, I should have mentioned that first. Really, he gave me the the, the feature on um on um on still fucked up. Uh, right. Me, him, chance the rapper. Wow. We it was a video we shot probably like 2015, 2014 or something. You feel me? Pulled up on Big Bro in his neighborhood. You know he from eighty seven. Over there we pulled up on him in his neighborhood at the barbershop. Like you know he used to really be coming back to Chicago showing love. Common. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. He's Big one of the first to, artists that yeah. a lot of people heard of really out of Chicago. Show face. Like really, bro, Big Bro used to really you know what I'm saying. Him like, and Twister or him show or love. Twister. I would say. I mean, it could be Crucial around conflict? the same. Crucial conflict? No, no, no it's after. That's way common, after? Yeah, yeah, okay. common, common, when he was Common Sense. Okay. And he had the song Take It Easy was one of the first But he's not records. Common Sense no more? No, no, he's just Common now. Yeah, really? Common. Yeah, his first album, he oh, was bad. Common Sense. No ID produced the whole thing. Yeah, no, he definitely is one, like, one of the first artists yeah. to really, like... That I heard of out of Chicago. Right. I mean, Twister as well. For sure, for sure. All right. Yeah. What's your relationship with Kanye? I fuck with Ye. Yeah. Uh, you know what's so crazy? Fuck with his like, new sneakers? I'm not sure. I don't really. I ain't even look at the sneakers, bro. I don't really be too big on the fashion. The ninja shit. I socks. I love them. That's my brother. I love them. But the ninja socks, socks, the ones that fold. No, I ain't. He called them Paul. Why are they ninja socks? Ninja socks. Uh, oh, because he don't wear shoes, right? You gotta wear some shit that like up. that in the don't, house. Don't, don't throw that on. No, me. no, I'm asking. I'm, I'm, I'm really asking. You know? <laughs> don't throw. He trying to throw. No, it I'm not trying to throw. I'm yeah, asking. I'm seriously asking. Like I had inside information. You do. <laughs> you said the one. Oh, yeah, I got I those joints. I, I was trying to see what what socks he was talking about. I ain't. You know. ain't see the ninja socks. I, I know which one you talking about now. That fold, right? Yeah, they, they're like AirPods. He called them pods. Oh, bro, right, right, right. They're right, AirPods. Right, right. I'm ready for him. Like, like them bitches too long though. Yeah, they, yeah. like I, I wanted to make. I'm they sorry. Short. They could they could have went on the house shoe vibe. You could have yeah. went on some. You feel like he, coffee, I, I feel shit, like he's watching too much Bruce Lee movies at that time. Oh, bro. And then yeah, because as soon as he get back to some nigga shit, I'm back. I'm gonna fuck with him, like I'm. A, I mean, like a fashion wise. Yeah, like I wanna fashion wise. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I right fuck now he's just like, bugging. I fuck with Ye, man. And you got You got Like I got a well, different. Yeah, acting like it's me. I got a different. No, I got a different. Like re, just like respect for Ye. I just, love Ye. Yeah, for, yes. Like just off the strength of like his genius for real. Yes, you he's know a what genius. I'm saying? Super genius. You know what I'm saying? For, like, yeah. Kanye, okay. wherever you at, Saudi Arabia. You know we love you too. And he, he's a good dude. Yo, Monopoly. Chi-Town, you got the whole shit going on. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Holy moly guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about... Damn, I got mad notes for you. Oh, you got some shit for me, Mercy? Let's talk about... Uh, Cry No More with little TJ. Yeah. TJ, that's my boy. Yeah. I, I, I never got to meet him. Yet. Yeah, yeah, but um, I like I, I like his style, I like his aura. Yeah, no, nah, little bro, so, real nigga. So, so tell us how y'all collaborated. 
Uh, TJ, that's I've been fucking with Lil Bro for a little minute too, though. You know, Lil Bro style, we locked in on a bunch of different ways. But um, really, it was uh, me and me and Polo did it first, though. Okay. Polo did the hook, you know. Okay. We was in Chicago. That was one of the times, and I I really was stuck in Chicago at the time. I ain't gonna lie, I had a, it was a, a period of time where. I couldn't travel, like I said, when I was when I got diagnosed with post traumatic stress right. disorder and shit. I I cut my drugs. You had the did. anger break list. Nah, I went on. This was before COVID. Everything. That's why COVID was kind of easy for me. I ain't gonna lie, cause I had like a year where I couldn't travel, really do too many shows unless. So you was acclimated. He was. I was just was stuck in it. Chicago. <laughs> my my judge ain't let me do no traveling. I wasn't on ankle monitor or nothing. It was like for a whole year. I had to do the summer. Oh, shit. Like, it was at least like 10 months. You was on quarantine like already. Yeah. <laughs> right. right like, it was right before quarantine hit. So it was like, I then did two quarantines type shit. Goddamn. So, but I was in Chicago. I, I was like locked in the studio and shit. So me and Polo had did that song. Me and Bro, we be, we had, when, when me and Bro get in, we be doing like a lot of shit back to back though. Like, we probably got five, ten, like, TJ. Yeah, TJ. No, I'm talking about Polo. Polo. Okay. So we had did the hook, and then I had sent the shit to TJ after that. And then me and TJ did it in LA. You feel me? Like, mm. like that shit, like a, it's like a dynamic, though. Like me, Polo, TJ, that shit, like the same. We get in the studio. If we get in one day, we probably could do five, six songs, mm. literally, wow. right off the rip, wow. like that. That we chemistry. We got that there. type of chemistry. So, right. you feel what I'm saying? Like, we all already familiar with working with each other. We done did shit in the studio together. Did shit separately. I get in with them. We do three, four songs. I get in with bro. We do three, four. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just how we work. So that shit just came naturally. I did that, and that was like I said at the time where I was just going through a whole bunch of shit mentally. I couldn't travel. I wasn't doing no shows. I was mm -hmm. fighting a case, all type of shit. I just was, you know, feel me? Like I was just. I feel like it was a growth period though. Like one thing I learned about, like that's why I speak about it openly. Like when you go through shit, like. Just adversity overall, like all that you will feel frustrated. Like nigga be having a lot of stress, a lot of built up shit in them, and you will feel like, oh, you you going through the motions or whatever the case may be. But that shit really just building character. Like mm. I learned, like when I really go through shit, sometimes I ain't trying to sound like weird or crazy or in a fucked up way. Like it kind of give me comfort like damn shit a little rough so i gotta you once you figure it out you figure it out and it's like it always leads to elevation mm. so you, you 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 should lead towards that shit you know what i'm saying like lean towards it what i'm saying that to say like that was like a, a hard ass time period where i didn't really want to do shit but record music but me recording music that was the ptsd album yeah that's that was, therapy though too that was it was that's therapy. a version of therapy exactly. as well. and that was like shit literally that's my best album still to this date you feel <clears> what i'm saying <laughs> Like, all this shit came about from me really not being able to travel, do shows, being around my peers, but niggas really just fuck with me off the strength. They pulling up on me, you feel what I'm saying? When I was able to go to L.A., TJ pulled up on me. Mm -hmm. Little bro, Polo was using a rack, he pulled up on me, you feel what I'm saying? I'm getting this shit done, and then that shit coming out, like, still, that's probably one of my biggest songs on that album, too, though, you feel me? So, right. like, that shit just be happening naturally, gang, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, God damn it. Hold on. When you go back and, and you you say you started like around sixteen, who were the inspirations that that you was looking around around you? Not not on the bigger scale, like around you, locally. Who was doing things that you was like, I want, I want to do like them. Uh, I I was looking up to niggas from my hood though, like that was rapping. Um, like nigga named React. On a, he an old nigga. Uh, my homie Hollow was rapping. Bibby was rapping before me too though. Bibby was like actually going right. paying for studio time and shit. Like when he was like 15 years old, Bibby was uh, like he a year older than me. So he was like 16, actually going to the studio and folks was smart. He knew how to structure hooks and do, I ain't know how to do shit but rap. Like I ain't know how to put no hook verse and know what a 16 bar was, none of that type of shit. You feel what I'm saying? But Oh, he, he could tell you stories. He didn't know either. Jesus, throw me out there. You all say right. it all the time. I'm all saying right. that, that's nah. inspirational. Like yeah. niggas, I feel like niggas that know how to rap never really knew how to put songs together though. Like never really. Like knew what? How what? To, what? Like, like you? That's 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 together. the same thing that, he's that, saying. That's how I used to count bars. The reason yeah. why that, that song what 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 what, what is right. that's, that's how to count bar. What 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 what? Right. what, what he was what, counting what, his what, bars what, exactly. what, what, and they made what, that a hook. And then Pharrell was just a genius. 
Yeah, nigga know how to be. He he just made. I me. feel like Bibby was a nigga that probably would have knew how to do that same shit. If mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, like Bibby knew how to. Y'all don't want no drinks. Y'all and, good. Y'all good. Jeez Louise, Papa Cheese. We want y'all to have fun too. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. But uh, I feel like yeah, I feel like like when we was getting in the studio early, like Bibby had. <sighs> He was he was like the brains when they came to like putting the songs together and right. shit. Like kill shit right now still. That's the our biggest song this day. That was his idea. He picked the beat. He the one told me go first on the shit. You feel what I'm saying? And then you know so like I just used to just rap for thirty bars, thirty two bars straight. You feel what I'm saying? Like right. and bro always had like the structure. So like when I first like I used to listen to what bro was on. Bump J, another nigga that I Bump really J. was like super influenced. Big Bibby like, and Bump J. Slap Polaroid, you feel what I'm saying? Niggas like that, like locally, that was going crazy. That was always like, like, that really made a nigga want to rap, you feel me? Right. And when you say you stopped writing your rhymes, you said you was had them in your phone and you was going off the top. Yeah. Were you doing the, the Biggie Jay-Z shit where you was writing in your head or you just freestyling? No, I was like, yeah, kind of writing in my head for sure. I definitely wouldn't really just freestyling off the top and going like that. Right. I would like think of shit, like air four bars, and then just record it like that. You feel me? Right. Or like even when I was writing, like I felt like I was wasting time writing because I'm thinking of the shit, and then when I'm writing shit, I'm thinking too long trying to write down one bar instead of just like. All right, that's already in my head. Say it, boom. Say it right. And then just keep going from there. You feel me? I feel like I'm wasting. That's like literally when you think that's about the elite. It. That's elite status shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna that's lie. That's the you. elite status. I can't. Shit. I can't remember shit. <laughs> nah. Word. Yeah, nah. Southside used to say that too. Though when I first started recording with Southside, like he used to see my process. That's when I first, like, that was around the time when, uh, when Juice was like going crazy right. and shit. When I'm learning how to really freestyle for real. So I used to just sit in the studio and listen to the beat. And I'll probably listen to that bitch for like five, ten minutes. But as I'm listening, niggas thinking I'm just listening to the beat, but in my head, I'm coming up with at least like eight bars that I remember for sure. Mm. Once you come up with the first like eight to 12 bars, you good. Like I got like four, eight off the top of my head I could do. Now the next 12, all that shit, like really a freestyle for right. I could just come in and just punch it. Like I feel like I always had like, <clears throat> when I first started rapping, that shit don't really have no, happen no more. It's a little easier for me. But... I used to have the most trouble with like my first four and my last four mm-hmm. because I'm 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 trying to really make the most sense and tell the story anyway. So it's like the last four going to, to the hook. So you gotta kind of coincide with the hook. The first four is what you lead them with. You gotta mm-hmm. get them intrigued with the first four bars at least. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. So that was my whole motto. Like as long as my first four I got, if I'm coming in with eight bars, I can just cruise my way through and make sure my last four or two going to the hook. Like that's how I really learned how to freestyle type shit. Right. I, let's talk about I Don't Wanna Die. Yeah. Why would you name a song that? <clears throat> that was um I don't lie, I gotta I gotta that was Southside, really that was Southside idea. I gotta get credit to Big Bro. He sent me that song. And he was he was um, getting ready to drop his album, which still ain't came out to this day. This nigga still ain't. Damn, he rich. He he about he ain't he, dro- he about to drop right now though. But he was gonna make that the intro to the, to the next album oh, he was wow. dropping. And I just, he just told me like, man, just go crazy. But I I he had put the sample in there where it was saying like, you know, I don't want to die. And he like, man, just go crazy on that shit. And I was listening to it, and when I heard the sample, it was, I was in Chicago too when I recorded that shit. That was during quarantine, matter of wow. fact. One nigga just stuck in Chicago, and when I heard it, just put nigga in a different type of like mad zone. But like the shit a nigga was rapping about, I think it probably like was like right on key because I was in Chicago. You know, when you in Chicago, you got a different like. Mm. It's a different aura. You feeling that energy? You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. if I'm in LA, I'm gonna ride around in a regular car. You feel I'm in a regular foreign. And when I get to Chicago, I want to be in a bulletproof truck, just a mass that is just what Chicago do, or just the shit I've been through and the shit I experienced. It make me think. It make me act the way I gotta move and everything when I'm there. So I feel like I think just me doing that shit and like it's I I. I like that that song really crazy though, like when you really think about it, like 
nigga talking about like how I shot the video, like mm -hmm. with all the kids and all the different scenarios, or, like kids situations. Or, like it's it's bigger than just being in the streets. You feel me? Like when you in Chicago, it's anything can happen. You right. know what I'm saying? Like kids get hit, strays, crossfire. Yeah, man, that's just, that shit is so frequent in Chicago. Like you know what I'm saying? More than any other city. So like it just put me in a different man frame to try to like talk about my situation and like what I experienced. And still, like, recollect to, like, what happened on a day-to-day -day that don't got nothing to do with anything street-related, you feel me? Because people try to, like, associate everything that's going on in Chicago with just, like, street shit. But that shit, like, is beyond that because mm -hmm. it, it affects everybody, you know what I'm saying? It don't just affect victims, it affect the mothers, affect the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. It affect everybody who don't got nothing to do with nothing street-oriented at all, you feel me? So The whole family's a victim. How, yeah, exactly. That's how, like, that shit came about, like, mentally, like, the shit I was rapping about. Let me ask you, because, like, in, in New York City, right, every summer, the crime rate goes up. Mm, right. Because they say, like... That shit like that in Chicago. Yeah. But y'all crime rate is still crazy in the winter. Yeah. yeah, but the summer's wild though. The summer even worse though. Yeah, yeah. Summer Summer's even worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Summer even worse. They stay they, they give the, the crime rate. The murder rate yeah. is crazy. The it be winter, zero though. below. And niggas still shooting. <laughs> what, they got gloves, special gloves or something? <laughs> what the fuck happened? I don't, I don't, I don't, what a nigga got. I don't, I don't know what a nigga like, got. I mean shit is it, cold. It's not funny, but I it's guess. Like, it's not funny, yeah, but it's yeah, like yeah. like you just think about it statistically New York City, summertime, it so you saying in New York, like the 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 crime rate really it don't really be as high during the winter. Yeah, the motherfuckers too, too too cold, and the Timberlands is heavy. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> motherfuckers don't be running, running and shit. I don't the know. Timberlands is <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's mandatory. October first, Timberlands come yeah, out. What? Nah, Not nigga. in the winter. That is the window. Oh, nigga in I Chicago don't, not can We don't got winter in Miami. I don't know. All right, calm down. <laughs> all right. That's why we I, get it. All right. That's why I really like. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta like. It should. It, it be big to just like, like not even on no joking shit to like talk about that shit and people think like as an artist you are glorified. You feel what right. I'm saying? But it's just like the experience and the shit nigga go through. You would think is. Mind blowing, you feel what I'm saying? Like how you saying that shit happened 365, no matter who, no matter what, you feel me? And that's just built off like shit, whatever trauma motherfucker got going on or what they going through, you feel what I'm saying? So like as an artist, we just speak about that shit and you know what I'm saying, and that way, you feel me, but people would think like it's non existent, but that shit really happened. Let's go back to gangster rap started. Like they called it gangster rap, right? Whatever. NWA, you're going from that lineage, right? Well, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah keep going. And then you go into drill. And then people try to say drill, the difference that it did in, in, in hip hop negatively is that it started talking about real things happening in real time and started getting people hurt in real time because they're talking about real things in real time. Um, I feel like they can't really put all that responsibility on artists. For one, and no, you're right. Put, you're right. I'm yeah, and they can't put all the responsibility on just the category of drill because rap was always rap, where there was hip hop, gangster rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. who's to say NWA not talking about things that was happening in real time and what's going on and how it affected other people? It's right. no different than what they were saying and with, with drill. You feel what I'm saying? Like how we came up rapping, we didn't try to categorize rap. Like, all right, we finna just talk about a straight. John were called drill. You know what I'm saying? We talking about negative shit. You know, we was just really just talking about our life and what we was experiencing. You feel what I'm saying? That's the why I don't like when they categorize on. things and they try to separate it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they, they, I'm glad we having this conversation right now. No, because I think it's important because people try to, they, they, they want to separate it and then they isolate things and see like, this is wag, this is not wag, this is good, this is bad. And then they, everybody feels they go into different areas and they're like, all right, we not that. But we're all hip hop. Right. Everything's hip hop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Old school, new school, this school, that school, South, exactly. uh, East Coast. It's all hip hop. It don't matter. Right. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, that's what I ain't never really had a conversation where like I was. It was. It came in a way where we really able to categorize like it all being hip hop. Like, right. You know, drill is just basically. It was originally like a term. It's not like we was just like, oh, this is drill rap. This is not hip hop. You feel me? It was all supposed to be rap and hip hop. 
Because that happened yeah. here in Miami. Because in Miami, that's what happened with Miami bass. Yeah. It tried to make it a subgenre. It's not hip hop. It's Miami bass music. Right. It's booty music, they called it. Right. But, not, but now looking, now that it, we're, we're in a different time frame, now it's all hip hop. It's hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's, it's different areas and they, they interpret hip hop differently. Right. So it's like, yeah, I ain't. Like, I ain't never, like, and that's crazy, even though, like, people, when I used to do interviews, you could even pull my old interviews up. I never categorized myself or, like, looked at myself as a drill rapper. I always felt like I was a rapper, like right. a hip-hop artist, because I rapped about, like, soulful shit. I never just only did drill beats, you know what I'm saying? I told stories in my rap. I looked up to rappers, to Ho, to Lil Wayne, and the Jada Kids, to, you know what I'm saying? The and if the Jewel beat spoke Santana's. to you, you yeah, could rhyme on it. Spoke to me, that's I what it, rap on it. That's what MC does. Always right. versatile to be able to do that, you know? So I think I came up in an era where they just considered it drill, but I never really considered myself as a drill rapper anyway. Right. You feel me? Crazy. Make some noise for us. Make some noise for us, goddamn. Yes, we got you more shots. I'm sorry. Let's do it. Are we taking for a no shot reason. For we just, cause you know why? Oh, you putting ice in your shot? That means we taking a shot. Yeah. Cause you know why, brother? You, you cold You're really a legend out here. Appreciate you it. really deserve all the roses, the flowers, all the accolades, everything. Like, you're you out here, and, and you're doing it honorably. Yeah. You're not, you know what I mean? Like, so many people from your generation will go... Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, Translation. They, take that, they take that funny route. We don't like that funny, bro. We like hard work. Yeah, nah, for real, man. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga just right, really want to just do this shit the cheers right way. Cheers, cheers, cheers. To cheers. you, motherfucker. Appreciate it. Be herbal. Y'all you don't want no drinks? I see I see you getting a drink. I see you. I see you. The ladies, y'all don't want no drinks? Mm-mm. They got some. They got some. Let's talk about riding with it. Riding with it. Riding with it, man. That was... um. That was another song, like, that's crazy. Uh, all these songs was uh, shit I recorded, like, during the quarantine period, like, when mm. niggas really couldn't, like, travel when I was on, like, recording PTSD and all that shit was going on. I felt like Chicago. You was outside like, when people was inside? Yeah. Okay. I was. Mm-hmm. For like you Chicago. didn't care about COVID at all? I didn't. I was outside thugging. He was already quarantined before that. I ain't gonna lie, like, I didn't care about COVID shit. either. I didn't. I was outside. Yeah. I went to Prime 112 one night. It felt like we was outside in the middle of COVID quarantine. Like, we on side on the block. Yeah. It was? 100 yeah. deep. <laughs> Literally. That's because like, Miami. Say that again? What? I said we outside on my block, 100, 200 deep in the middle of quarantine. In the middle of COVID. Motherfuckers middle dying COVID. left outside and right. On like, and outside, shoot the video. I just bought my Rolls Royce, spent 500 No mask. Yeah, Rolls Royce. Just bought the color and then put that bitch right up on the block, shot the video, mm. you feel me? I was just, you know, like... Mask on? In a nope. different mode. Yeah, I had a Dior mask in, in the video on, bro, you know that? Nah. <laughs> nah. I had the Dior mask on, man, in the mm. trenches, but... Mm. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that song was... When I look back at it, man, it just make me, like, for real, really be like... Just grateful of, uh, like, the moment of what you get. First and foremost, as an artist, because that's, like, as an artist, I mean, that's one of, like, like my one of my biggest songs still to this date, and that's just me on some... That's the shit I just do naturally, like, comfortable on some rapping shit, just talking about, you know what I'm saying, the trenches and, and what I'm thinking on a day-to-day, you feel me? That's still one of my biggest songs to date. But I'm saying that to say, like, it just make a nigga, like, Grateful looking back because I wasn't even thinking of what it was going to be to this day. And just looking back at people from the video that's like not even still here to this day, people that I lost, you feel what I'm saying? Like shit like that. You just got to not take moments for granted. You feel? All right. God bless. Do you, do you, because a lot of people um, say living in LA is dangerous as well. Do you look at it like that? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. That's where you live now? Yeah, I look at. I mean, I really look at air, air place like that just because I feel like to be aware is to be alive. You know what I'm saying? Like I always, I'm a super alert kind of like people might look at it like I'm paranoid or whatever. But I'm just always thinking of like how I was raised. I think of the worst case scenario, yeah, so I, I always think, yeah. be prepared to 
just do whatever to make sure I get home, to make sure I'm protected and my family protected, you feel what I'm saying? So, like, I feel like, and it's crazy because I moved to L.A. to get away from that type of shit. Like, right. But I moved to L.A., to. right. <laughs> you wild for that. Yeah, like, nah, <laughs> I'm saying I moved to L.A. because I just, I'm not even get away from, like, violence and shit, but, like, I felt like in Chicago at the time, it was like a, Crab in a bucket mentality, crab in a barrel mentality type shit. shit. By the same, like, because that happens yeah. in every city. Yeah, in every city, the, the each the in there right. is a crab in the bucket. I had to like, right. yeah. So it's like I felt like to LA was to get away from that, and I could go and you know be with my family and be with my kids right. and go enjoy life and enjoy myself without always looking over my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? But like, I'm still taking precaution no matter where I'm at. You feel what I'm saying? Is right. They don't want to be careful how I ask this. Because I know you're 28, so you, you probably can't fully understand this. But do you realize they say the first gangs that ever was invented was in Chicago? Yeah, no, nah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I'm, I, I really be like, it's like, I'll be paying attention and I study that type of shit. Like, mm. I always, I'm big on like history, you know what I'm saying? No matter what I'm at, like I look, Definitely the biggest gang. Yeah. It's come out. I'm, 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 I'm big on like just history. Really the biggest gang Especially in black history. Like anything uh -huh. black, historic, any type of, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll be into that type of shit. So yeah, I know. I feel like a lot of shit was brought on just by all of culture because and kinda, generational I, trauma type of shit. You feel me? Because kind of LA's culture, I don't want to say mimicked, because that might be the wrong word. But um, I believe Black P-Stones yeah. was like the first gang in Chicago, and Black P-Stones is the oldest gang in L.A., or one of the oldest gangs. That's I mean, crazy. Let me not say that, that. transformed into what? Uh, what would it transformed into in L.A.? Bloods. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but that that originated in Chicago. Uh, wasn't wasn't Chris before Bloods? Yeah, but the, that that's the blood part of it. You know what I mean? So um, I believe Ramian Washington. If I'm if I'm not, you know, I mean, we definitely don't. Know I don't this. know. I'm not. Uh, we don't know this. Story. But yeah. but what I'm saying saying is, the first recorded that gang uh, originated gang, in Chicago. Yeah, originated in Chicago. For sure. Like, like I, I don't know if it's the terminology that they use, gang, if, if that's what it is. But yeah, no, yeah, yeah that, that, that gang definitely originated in Chicago. It's like I remember good. going to Chicago. I swear to God, and I had my my um. My leg, my past leg up, yeah. and people were like, "Yay, yo, 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 yo!" One up? Yeah, I didn't know what the fuck was happening. They thought it was some gang shit. That meant that was something? some gang shit. Yeah, I was wearing my hat the wrong way one time. They were like, "Yeah, hey. the hat," but I ain't never heard about the leg shit. Yeah, maybe, maybe you had your leg and your hat on the same yeah, side. Yeah, I was in Puerto Rican section. Mm. Maybe it was important. That was some weird ass shit. Yeah, look, they, they tell, they tell, they're telling me not to talk about it. That's some Let's weird. Change, that, was, that. that never happened. Oh! Let's take a shot for that. Let's take a shot for that. God damn it. <laughs> that was some weird Let's shit. Let's take a shot for that. Motherfucker G Herb. Let's make some noise for fucking G Herb. Do not let him convince you to take a shot of that. Yeah, I ain't taking a shot of that. Mm. All right, but can you stand my, my candle up, please? So oh, shit. So I ain't foul up. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Kill shit. Kill shit. Kill shit, man. A little bit me. We were speaking about it earlier. Yeah. Like I said, bro put that whole shit together. That's crazy. Um. Damn. I ain't never really even spoke with this. I, I recorded that verse in my little brother career, man. Long live Lil Greg. Little bro just passed away three years ago yesterday. Yesterday was his three year anniversary. God bless. Take a shot. Let's take a Lil shot. Let's get a shot. Let's take, take a, a shot, shot for little bro, man. Yeah. Oh, you gotta pull me another shot. But uh, yeah, I recorded that video on Lil in the living room at Liberal spot. Uh, and, and Bibby really put the whole shit together. Shout out DJ L. Recorded, I mean, cooked the beat up right on the spot. Um, shit. And we really, like, I think that's probably still one of my 
biggest streaming songs to this day. We really ain't even like know what we was doing with that shit. We shot the video, man. We was probably 16, 17 years old. We shot that video at five, five in the morning on on Sunny, on Sunny Eighth in Kingston. It's outside, posted up on some young shit. Just I got a video viral, man. Um, I got a video that's still viral. Oh shit! I, let me take this shot for a little bro, man. Salute. Salute. For Lil Broski. I got a video viral. Uh, me and Bibby freestyle. I, mean, I was freestyling. It's Bibby standing next to me. <laughs> hey, come on, Diego. <laughs> That's not me. This, and I is, got, this um, is drunk. I had DJ L. DJ L who, who, who made a beat. He was cooking the shit up on the spot. Like, literally, it's 4, 5 in the morning, niggas. Young as hell, breaking curfew, 20 deep on the block. Uh, and, and just shout out my uh, nigga Jordan who shot the video. Um, just on some random shit, bro. And that shit just went legendary, man. Just just, just kids trying shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? When I look back on it, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't even know where that shit was going. We just shot that shit on some random shit on the block, literally four or five in the morning. And that shit took us where it needed to go. God damn it. Boom, bro. Fucking, fucking beautiful. All right. All right, by the way, this is this is three questions back to back because you got three fucking records with little Uzi Vert? Yeah, yeah, Vert, that's my man. Well, we got, uh, me and bro got, uh, on my phone, we got everything. Uh, he on the who running shit. We then yeah, got, yeah, 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 yeah. got a couple more. Yeah, I got this. I got this. I'm trying to think. Um, I By can't the way, even think. Um, I forgot why I seen him. But it was like seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You and saw I, him at seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and I sent him a shot, and he took it at seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, that sound like him. And what then, shot did you send him? Whatever he wanted, I was, I, I asked oh, you the waiter. Say whatever they want. Yeah, he's at another table. I was like, yo, I just I was testing him. I was like, yo, tell him, send him, send him whatever he wants. And he was like, yeah. He took the shot. He walked over to my table, and I sent him another shot. Yeah. And he took it, and then he sent me another shot, and we was going all night. I come up, it's yeah, I don't want to say like where. Man. Yeah, bro, real we got nigga. Got pictures though. of it. No, nah, bro, real nigga. Word. For sure, like me and Uzi, I ain't gonna lie. That see, me and Uzi got a different relationship, bro. Me and me and Bro been locked in like literally since like the beginning. Like I'm, right. I'm at Uzi since the beginning of his career, like right. literally type of shit. You feel me? This is my man. shot. I mean, it's not ours. <laughs> yeah, I took, took my shot already. already. Yeah, yeah. So is this my shot? Is this my shot? You I definitely, definitely, took you definitely didn't drink it unless your ice melted. Bro, is this like 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 a? I, I think your ice a melted. Soldier. That was just hanging around. Yeah, uh, your buddy just melted. Oh, yeah, that's probably H2O, just ice, buddy. Mm -mm. Yeah, you got ice in them, motherfuckers. That's probably that's all. I ain't gonna lie to you. If you would have hit that Stoli Elite with concrete. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be discreet. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't run up on It was just, not me. I'm gonna stick promo. to what I know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go with who run it first. Yeah. Who run it, man? Yeah. Shout out to my boy Baby, man. Shout out Baby for Dallas for sure. Uh huh. Man, that's. Who run it? That's crazy. I be like, when I'm thinking about shit, like, that, that shit told me, like, I had. This some funny ass shit, right? I stubbed my toe. I hit my toe on the fucking edge of the bed. My shit was hurting bad as fuck. I couldn't even put my shoe on. Which toe? Uh, the, the, was that the, is that the, relevant? God damn it! The little Pinky toe. Pinky toe. I couldn't walk. The little bro, toe. The little one, on, bro. Fuck me. Did your shit turn black? <laughs> Man, it was <laughs> fucked up. It was yeah. The top was. He fuck, wants to know, I, like, I how does your toe look. really look, though? He, he wants Man, to I couldn't, I couldn't I'm walk. I'm a toe bro. banger, bro. He's like, regular. can you take a picture look, of your toe? Look, I ain't baby to this bro. day. Nobody noticed. I really went up to the shit, rolled up on the little chair, the little one that rolled. It wasn't a wheelchair. You know the little chair that spin around the yeah. fold? I rolled one of them bitches all the way on the elevator up to the shit, did the freestyle. My shit was fucked up. I'm like, man, I ain't even want to do this shit, but... 
that shit can't went so viral after that. I'm like, damn, man, I gotta just start doing shit when I don't even want to do it. Like, fuck it, just put this go through it. That shit taught me a little mental lesson. But anyway, I had did the freestyle and put that shit on my page. Then Drake had DM me like, man, make that shit a song. Okay, time out. Oh, bro. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I had did a freestyle. I told you, shout out my nigga, baby. I did a freestyle after I stubbed my toe. I went Break upstairs. slid in your DMs. Oh, bro. After your toe was hurt. After I posted the shit on my page, Drake had hit me in the DM like, man, make that shit a song. Drake is a legend. Oh, bro. He's a legend. Yeah, shout out my nigga, Drake, man. And he told you, you the future. He oh, did. Bro. Um, bro. That's hard. You guys gotta do a record together, that's, 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 man. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah. Nah, y'all yeah, gotta yeah, get a record together. Yeah. He, can't, he, can't come say, he can't say that and then not do the record with you. You know that, man. Me and him gonna get it done. Uh-huh. You know that. Who you, you, you play basketball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who you think? And we's but who? Me and Drake. Yeah. I we's but bu- hey, hey, what big bro? What? Man, we gave Drake ass work, man. He was mad. He put us out of the studio. We Say won. That. He avouched to it. He know they we we won. They lost. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. We was in the studio. It was me, big bro. Who's who? Right. Okay, hold on. Well, so what happened? All right, tell us. Tell we us. was at the crib in L.A. hooping. It, who was on our team? It was me, big bro. Who's big bro? We need to know. A one right okay. there. Right. That's big bro. Okay. Addy was on our team. Shout out my nigga Adderall on bro. He and was Dash. Shot So this is Shot Town against Toronto. Is this what happened? Uh, uh, it was that was our fault. Dash, Dash, he, um, my bro, Aaron Sherrod, you know, big CEO over at Gaffin on Brody. Okay. We, on Brody. Um, so it's four on four? And, and we was playing, we, we played, we played, uh, Drake, little man, we played Drake 21 Savage. Who was on their team? It was like two more people, I ain't gonna lie, we bust their ass though. We're not gonna tell me. Like two, three points. Drake you and 21 Savage? Homies. Boss Drake and Twenty One Savage. Act. Yeah, Twenty Twenty One was playing with them too, bro. But that was a little that was a little scrimmage though. I ain't really gonna do too much bathing on it. But they, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You beat yourself <laughs> up and took it back. I'm not sure. He said, Hold it's on. A little we scrimmage. won. We Y'all won. won. Yeah. What was the game? What What was it? Like Like, like how many points? How many points? We probably played like eleven, twelve, eleven, or some shit. It was probably like one four. Yeah, four and four. Half court, half like court, right? Four, no, full court. Oh, full court? Okay. Full court. Yeah, bro. Where was this at? In LA. LA. In LA. Mm, bro. So you smoked Drake and 21, 21 staff. staff. We won in the four and four. Yeah, we, we beat them. That's what happened. They everybody knows. I just want to be know. commentary for part two. For sure, you know the that. Versus. Once this shit go viral, yeah, they gonna versus. contest to let's, it. Let's start the basketball. Everybody versus. gonna want to rematch. You know how that shit go. Uh-huh. Are we gonna do the side commentary. Yeah, I want to do the side commentary. Be you. No, we gonna host it. We gonna host it. We gonna host it. And we gonna give our shots. And it's gonna be a charity game. We can't wait. <laughs> so you saying if you, I, right, so you. And who against Drake and 21 Savage? Two on two. Me and bro. Me and bro. That's you don't sweet. want no smoke? He just said no. We won't. Oh, you, yeah. oh, you said no like, I'm going to smoke them. He like, said all right, like, all right, all right. He said like, no yet. Yeah, there's nothing okay. to talk about. So two on two. I'm calling Ice Cube tomorrow. We're going to make a different league. Me and bro against him <laughs> and 21. That's sweet. <laughs> I'm going to go. That's overly. <laughs> Do, do, do we got this on camera? Yeah. We yeah. Hell I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to take a PBC. Yeah, I'm going to use the bathroom. We coming right yeah, here. Yeah, come on. We oh, all going to go to the bathroom oh, on that note. Oh, yeah. You got to see the bathroom. Oh, that was hard. Oh, that was hard. So let me ask you. What's your favorite? Making a record or performing a record? Um, Making it. Making a record? Yeah. Right. Um, I think making a record because... Just to create a space, uh, I feel like when you, like from an artist's perspective, in my opinion, I'm already making the record with purpose and knowing if I'm going to perform and shoot it or whatever mm. already. You already yeah. know what you're doing with the record. Exactly. So it's like I'm already like once once I at least get in the process of it, I could figure how it's going to 
recollect in shows or whatever from the first day I make it. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shows, video, however it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? And you do a lot of festivals and shit, head. right? Yeah, I, I do festivals. Yeah, sometimes. Like, yeah. I mean, I heard you 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 be out the big I, festival. Yeah, I done uh, Lala's. I did Lala's and you know Rolling Louds and all this shit. Yeah, all the big festivals that's turn urban. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like the fact that you say. Some people say that they think that you don't have a hit record, but you say I, I can't tell because my fans is yeah, it's a hit for the fans. It every, don't matter every, every yeah. motherfucking night. So it's like I was, I be saying this a lot, like like not in a bad way. I feel like it's I be saying, like I, I feel like I'm one hit record away because right. I never really caught a break while I went mm. top billboard and no shit like that. You know what I'm right. saying? But I always built a core fan base because. Mm. I stayed consistent in a way where I fed the, you know what I'm saying, the people who fuck with me, you feel me, like organically, whether it's like me dropping enough projects or me just being featured on enough shit because everybody fuck with me and I'm, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, delivering in that type of way. But, and I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I ain't never really had the advantage to just really drop consistently how I wanted to because I ain't never mapped it out the way I wanted right. to, you feel what I'm saying, like, and I'm saying that like on some shit where, like me being independent the whole time, I can drop music, but I ain't never really like put no rollouts where it's like, all right, but I'm finna drop four mixtapes or two albums or some shit like With that. With a certain budget yeah, that like, allocates how you yeah, do it. Exactly, because right. you know, a nigga really doing this shit independent, so I'm, everything is it's really. How you can do it when exactly. you can do it. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly, right. you know how this shit goes. Yeah. So it's like. I feel like we're having that if I would have had the advantage to really do that from a, a perspective of uh, somebody who got a label budget or whatever, he'll say, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I feel like shit would have probably like slowed me down. I'm glad it, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I built some shit organically where it's like, I don't have to chase it right I don't have to chase it. You're better than like, most artists, to exactly. be honest with you, bro. You, know what I'm saying? So, you don't need that machine. You don't yeah. need that budget. If the budget comes to you eventually, you're gonna know how to use it. But right. you don't need that. Like to to have to not have a hit record, like the exactly. technical hit record, exactly. and have the following you have is amazing, man. Right. And like and like salutes like you. Your fans that. are crazy. Well, bro, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like I feel like that shit really. <clears throat> but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be event. his devil advocate. If they come with that bag, them labels, take that goddamn oh, bag. Bro. <laughs> I mean, me and no, him, no, we, we that's the no, 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 read, no, 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 read the contract, bro. I'm yes, of course. Man. Don't just take the bag. Nah, bag the no bag one is, said don't no, read the contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bag, the bag is a loan, man. It's a loan. It's not a bag. It's, it's very a loan. true. It's He's, a bag it's that they true. say, I'm going to hold on to it a little bit. Like right. this. It's like this. You know, It's very true. I ain't going to lie. I feel like it was, like I said, it was like some... Some, I didn't even know what it like in my mind. I didn't know what it was. I feel like I was building like a a real business where I can go. I I got the opportunity to like say yeah and nay. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like we're building that because I don't have to like put a, I could put out music and just feed my audience. Like right. I don't gotta make sure I got a single or whatever before I drop an album. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like just certain shit. I got the advantage. It's just pros and cons with being able to just. Be like independent, having a core fan base where it's like they just wait on me to drop music. They don't get no fuck. What yeah, you're in a place where every artist in. wants to be in. Yeah, like, they don't tuned get in for every features. single artist they tuned wants to be where you're at. Whatever it is, yeah. like it don't matter yeah. what the fuck I drop or how I drop it. They just tuned in for what's coming up. And you got this weird balance, right? Because um, what I mean by that is most of the time you have the respect from the fans, or you have the respect from the industry. A lot of people don't have that balance of having both. Yeah. And you got that. Like, you got the respect from the fans. Bro. The fans respect you equally how the industry respects you. And that's like, like I, I said, I, I labeled yeah. it weird because I have no other word to, to, to yeah. name it because that's weird. I've never seen that. It's like, I've never really you. seen the right. equal amount of respect. Do you do you feel that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I think that's just like, and when I hear from, like, like, when take I hear from people, oh, yeah, we can definitely take a shot for that. You know that? Let's take two shots for that? Let's do that. I'm in. It's on you. It's, it's your show, brother. Let's do it, it's man. It's your show. No, we should do it's your show. Our show because, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Because cause, cause I ain't going to lie. Salud. Shots, shots. 
We've been no, doing no, no, it. I said two shots. Okay. <laughs> well, I got. I need another one. No, no, no. I've been. We've been doing no, this. No, no, but I said two shots. She's in a, I'm bad for I'm fucking with you I'm fucking with you I got you But That's, that's a That's a seldom yeah. Very rare thing Nah I be noticing that though bro I ain't gonna last Like I It just come from From being solid man I just be mm. trying to like And it, It's like it, I feel like in a way No funny shit Like I think When I When I was so young and, and, and when this shit started taking off for me, I think I didn't just like understand my star power or understand who I was while well, I never really got close to like certain other artists or did certain shit. How to shit capitalize that just, on that? Yeah, I didn't capitalize on it early on. You feel what I'm saying? I so from that. I felt like with that, like, and people fucked with me, by the time it got to a point where I think I felt comfortable with myself, People fucked with me, and then I was able to build genuine relationships. Mm, Where it's mm. like, now these people I fuck with, I actually fuck with like on a genuine lit relationship or level or a personal relationship level, like or business relationship, or business relationship. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just really grown on on that type of shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think that just came from really. It was natural though because I went and and I I see now like I started learning years later that shit really handled my career. Where it's like certain shit. I wasn't pulling up to certain shows when artists was in town to come out and do certain shit. Like, I remember one time, bro, I ain't gonna lie, my homie Kobe, man, God rest his soul, he got killed um, in 2013. And, um, and, and, and T.I. had came to the town. He had came to Chicago and he was like, you know, trying to get up with a nigga. Like, Tip was trying to get up. He like, man, he wanted me to pull up to the shop on Stony and the Ooh, but literally, I swear to God, I'm outside waiting on the, the, the ambulance to come pick my homie body up mm, off the damn, ground. Bro. We right there. Sorry for that, bro. Watching him. You feel what I'm saying? Like, certain shit, like, it, I feel like it hindered, like, hindered my career because I used to have that same type of mindset where I wasn't just doing shit because I felt like I, I was. Like too like deep in the street, so I felt like I was too like stuck in my ways where I I ain't wanna like put myself in an uncomfortable environment or uncomfortable like place to try to like go mingle with other people or stars and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like because I ain't wanna like just go on a limb or just trying to like right. You feel me? So it just I ain't gonna lie for years and years that shit was my problem though. Right. Um, I moved to Miami, right? Um, I, I would like to say Miami saved my life, right? Me. Well, you're welcome. Damn. Tell them how you really feel. <laughs> but I, feel I, the same I would like to say, yeah, I would like to say that Miami kind of saved my life, right? Because, but I still get those phone calls. Yo, such and such is over for him. You know, he just died. They killed him over there, there, there. I feel to a certain extent Miami helps me deal with that pain. Yeah. Does being in L.A. help you? Because, I mean, yeah. I'm sure we get the same phone call. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like L.A. definitely did that because that's, it's that's, like... That's dope. Even like... Just being in a different environment, that energy mm. is not around me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I remember Chief Keith moved to LA, right? Exactly. Like, right. that's why I really, he got with the paintball shit. That's yeah. why I really the paintball I, shit. That's another reason why I really just like fuck with Sosa so much because he just always took a chance and just done shit. Like, right. he just went to LA. You feel me? Like, right. that gave other niggas like Ashworth, like, damn, if Sosa could do it, we could do it. Like, that's what I felt like. Right. You feel me? Like, so some move to L.A., I'm like, I could go to L.A. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I know, you can. bro. Absolutely. You right. you and I went and did it. Go, you know, like, you know, right. like, but I, that shit was like, we ain't, that shit wasn't possible to us. Like, niggas going to move to L.A. type right. of shit. You feel me? Los saying? Angeles. Los Angeles. On a Schwarzenegger living. Going and never coming back. Like, that was my intentions. Like, well, I'm finna go out there and never come back. Mm. You feel me? Like, I, that's what I felt like. Mm. You know, and still rep the city. And still rep the city, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But of course, nigga really went back and did, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, just we ain't even think that shit was possible. Bro. Folks mm. went out there. That made me like, all right, man, if folks could do it, we could do it. That's real shit. Let's talk about blues featuring Future. 
Blue was on Broadway. It's very hard to get Future on the record. On phone, yeah. You cannot get Future on the record. Yeah, no, Pluto. Very bro. hard. That's big, bro. No, I ain't gonna lie. Future, like, no bullshit. He, he wanted to, like, real, like, real niggas that really, like, gave niggas some, like, guidance when it came to real life shit. Like, this is why I really fuck with, fuck with Big Bro for real, because he'll pull you to the side and, like, tell you some shit that you wouldn't even think he was paying attention to. Like, that's what made me know, like, Big Bro was a real nigga. Like, he had come tell me some shit, like, yeah, man, I seen this or some shit that got probably to do with, like, your career or some personal shit, and you wouldn't even think he know. Big up, you know future. Like, big up, the yeah, Big Bro for real, because, yeah. like, that lets you know, like, he really fuck with you. He genuinely trying to tell you some shit that, like, I really help you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so, like, and, music. And he's seen the whole thing, shit. Like, he, he sure. been down with Dungeon Family exactly. back then. No, for yeah, sure. Like, he's he's hip hop. My, the first time I met Big Bro was was in the hood anyway, like, in my neighborhood. You feel what I'm saying? Wait, what? What? First yeah. time you met Future was in where? Yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to Zona, man. Big Bro. Uh, bro he, uh, uh, first time I met Zona, uh, Pluto was. Uh, we call him so Future. We, you, yeah, I, 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 we realize you've been calling him Pluto, Pluto. the whole interview. You know, we, we realize you're privileged. That's, you if you call him Pluto, you're privileged. Yeah, Wait, Pluto? Pluto? Yeah, that, that's, that's his nickname. He's yeah. another world. Yeah. But yeah. now, um, yeah, I'm, first time I met bro was shit, like 2016 or some shit. And like in, in, the neighbor, in my neighborhood, though, like right by my. Well, he was yeah, just hanging out in your neighborhood? Home, bro. Nah, stop. For real. No bullshit. Shout he didn't call you? No, nah, he was outside, posted up in the trenches, man. Nah. Nah, nah stop that. I ain't bad, For real. Oh, bro. Future just outside on your hood, in your hood. Oh, bro. Plat, but it's a motherfucker. He was with his owner, man. Shout out his owner on the phone. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. The first time I met him, just pulled up on him on some random shit. But yeah, bro, a real nigga. He ain't know you before you met him. Like you just no, nah, he ain't know. No, nah, he ain't know me here. No, not for real. Well, he knew me a little bit, but not know me. Yeah, that's fire. Oh, bro, we we'll make some noise for future. Oh, bro, you know that. That's dope. So let's talk about this record. How did you? How did it come about? Oh, um, sizzle. Oh, um, bro, Southside. Shout out Southside. He had uh, put the shit together. Um, I was. Putting the album together, we was in Miami. I had pulled up on him, you know, bro. He, you know, that shit easy for bro, for for for, for future man. That shit come. He definitely like, don't write. Yeah, that shit come like second nature. So like, <laughs> you pull up on bro in the studio, you just play some shit. If he fuck with it, that shit then it take him like twenty minutes. He just <laughs> like I ain't never really like, and, and I ain't gonna lie when 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 he recorded that shit when he recorded it, I had went back on my second verse because. Like I seen like how he like his his whole process and shit, like how he did it. It made me go back. It made me go back on my shit, like on the second part, like on the second part of my verse, like just basically how like you go like different cadences. Like mm -hmm. I be <laughs> like I be saying some rap shit, you know. I just really just try to like go bop for bop. Like I like after bro put some shit on there, I made it made me like. Take the bars off, go different cadence, like on some melodic shit type shit. But like, yeah, shout out to bro on phone. He gon' he he just challenging niggas just on some hey so, his recording process. He get in and just any I, I'm sure any nigga could contest when you get in the studio or Pluto like how he record. It just make I you wanna Pluto like shit. I love, I love make the you get motivated. That he get. Pluto, yeah. she's solo, the solo, solo, solo. Listen, cause you got like fifteen thousand features, right? Yeah, I got a lot of features. I don't care, play. Now I got you sourced, sourced up. Choo choo. Has there ever been somebody that fronted on you that you wanted to do a record with? Let's keep it real now. You want to drink champs? Keep it real now. It's one person in front on everybody. Let's just keep it real. Sorry. I got Maya. Maya fronted on me. She's coming under this. She didn't front on you, but you did a record with her. Yes, I did a record with her. Uh, she she fronted on me. You? Yes. You I won't really say front it, but if I was gonna say like any feature I really anticipated coming out that never really coming came out that I would try to fuck with was was Ye yeah, Ye yeah, yeah, had pulled me. He was he was oh, yeah? Pretty, yeah, not, this is before Don though, I that's like two, three years ago. Uh I, I was locked in on Ye, yeah, we had did like two, three songs. Uh I pulled up on him in the rack, then I did some other shit in New York. He had sent me. 
It was he had just, blonde hair at this time? This was like right before the blonde hair. Like, before the blonde? Yeah. Is it before the like the spots in the hair too? <laughs> no, because I'm trying to figure out. Home bro. Kind yeah. Home bro. Home bro. This is before, right before that. Home before bro. the spots in the hair? Home okay. Bro. All right. So y'all went in the studio? Yeah, in Chicago? Yeah, yeah, in Chicago, yeah, yeah, yeah. God yeah. damn it. But we had did some shit. He really like I had I laid some shit, then he told me to redo it. Of course, you know how he is, he's super like yeah. strategic, picky right. and shit. But when he did I feel like when he told me to redo it, that shit was over, over hard. Like he made me do some crazy shit. You wasn't feeling it? No, no, I did. I liked it. I fucked with the shit. So but, you was agreeing with him telling you to redo it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Right. But like, um, what really what I'm saying is like when when I did the shit, the shit, I'm thinking the shit was gonna come out on his project, but I was trying to use it too though. Um, I was trying to use it for some some of my shit. Mm. So he basically ain't let me use it for me trying to get some shit, thinking it's gonna come on his shit right. and it ain't never come on his shit. But other than that, I ain't really tripping. So why couldn't you use it? Cause I ain't wanna use it no more after after it was too that late. Was you I already put you my didn't shit up. Use it. Huh? You didn't want to use it. No, I had already put my project out. Oh, you know what I'm saying, okay, okay, shit, okay. Yeah. Mm. So, if you have a chance, would you work with Kanye right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let him produce or produce and feature. You know, he probably he, like I he work. He then they gonna produce the shit anyway, unless somebody else do it. You feel what I'm saying? But like, I ain't gonna lie to I you. I fuck with Yeto. Like, I just like just. Got a different type of love for Ye because you know he's from the career, man. Yeah, I got a love. No, but he, he's, he's a super person. genius. Let me just tell you, yeah, super genius. I I write rhymes and calligraphy in my mind. Calligraphy, huh? Uh, yeah. Wow, I, I killed I, that, bro. Out of control right now. Uh, <laughs> And graffiti, calligraphy and graffiti, oh, calligraphy, oh, bro. calligraphy. <laughs> you like it? You like it? You like it? No oh, one. Bro. If if I give oh, you, bro. if I show you how I write rhymes, you'll be like, "There's no way that's a rhyme." Yeah, the like, only I, I, man your, in the world that could is? read my rhyme was Kanye. <laughs> that man read my shit. We were in Carbone. We sitting there. What, what's the you guy really name? Knew what you were saying. What's the guy like, name? Um. Uh, Trump's uh, Trump's homie Jared Kushner. Jared Kushner Come on That's a weird Name drop right now bro Oh you think I'm bullshit No 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 I don't think oh, I got that's the a flicks And everything to You know who he's talking about No Yeah You don't know who he's talking about So I'm in Trump's Carbone. daughter's husband Yeah <laughs> yeah So I'm in Carbone <laughs> Who was a part of Trump's <laughs> Cabinet Yeah a yeah he really, So I'm in there and then I, and then and Ye said something to me, and I'm like, oh yeah, I was. Right. And Jared was right there. Yeah, Jared. Yeah. yeah. Jared, Jared, he said, listen, Nori, I no, like, no, 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 I no, like no. your rides, bro. Stop, stop, stop. He said, but he said, what, well, what, well, I was well, like, what? so Ye said something, and I say, oh shit, look, I was writing this earlier, so I showed yeah. it to him, thinking like, because no one can read my handwriting, it's just not possible. Right. Nobody, Capone, yeah, he, my wife. Nobody. That nigga Ye read my shit <laughs> like, like he was Braille. Like it was like, like so he really read it. it was, what he was rapping it though. I'm saying like he, yes, he rapped it. He rapping it he as, rapped like he shit. reading it like his. I you. was like, oh, I grabbed my phone. Give me my <laughs> shit. I had never knew wait, anybody. Wait, 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 no, no, go back, go back, go back. Relax. Let's yeah, slow wait, it down. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. So right, you yeah, said, yeah come on. Right. Let's go. No, no, we we both we got okay. both got questions. No, wait, yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. He reading your lyrics that you wrote. He said rapping it like it. Rapping. All right, and this is real talk. He had just did the Cardi B verse. So when he did the Cardi B verse, he says something, and I was like, "Oh shit! Look, I wrote that this morning." Whatever he said on the Cardi B verse, I was like, "Look, look, look!" I just wanted to say, "Yeah, I wrote that." This so most people would look at that one line and give you back your phone. He sat there and read my whole rhyme. He was like, yeah. "How many? How many verses you had? Or how many?" Bars? It was like a twenty-four bar verse, and he read it the whole line. He rapped it. He rapped line. It. <laughs> I said, "Motherfucker, I never." Capone can't do that. I rapped Capone for my whole fucking life. But he rapped it in a way that you were like, "It's yes. not like me." Yes. What you said? He rapped it in what? Because this is the thing. You're saying that yeah. he said it in a way that it sounded like you. Yes. 
Yes, I swear to God, I had never. I gave yeah. him my phone, expecting him to that's read what it. I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like that's you said, he reading it, or you said he reading it. Like, I, what, okay, like you I'm confused? Saying. Wait, hold on. Yes, hey, please. So I'm, I'm here for the shit. So you saying he reading it off your notes, right, or, mm-hmm. or your handwriting? It's not your handwriting. No, it's, he no, got it's my handwriting. His phone. His phone. His no, phone. it's my handwriting. He wrote it's my on handwriting. His phone. On his phone. But it's your handwriting. It's not your handwriting, bro. Stop it, bro. What do you mean? It was my hand. It was my notes. It was my notes. It was my it's text. It's not your handwriting. But, wait, what? Stop. <laughs> wait, what? You, you, you in another? Right. You're in another verse. So wait, is he tripping or am I tripping? He's tripping. <laughs> okay, what? It's, it's on your phone, right? It's on my phone. So, so it's not your handwriting. <laughs> All right, listen, listen, listen. All right, let me let me reiterate what right. I just said. He plays me the Cardi B verse right, right. that he had just did for Cardi B. This right. is not out. All right. So one line on there, I wanted him to know. Oh, on shit, your phone. What you just right. said, I wrote this on morning, your phone. Right. On your phone. On my phone. So I show him my How voice notes. notes. My voice. Yeah, I, I, not my voice notes. Excuse me. Uh, you know the yellow it's pad, right. but you ain't handwriting. It's not your shit. handwriting, hand- though. Oh, it's not my handwriting. Right, okay, right, right. come on, you, you motherfuckers, <laughs> you fucking foul motherfuckers. So, yeah. You know what the fuck I mean? Right, wait, no, no, I'm no, tripping. No, no, so I'm <laughs> tripping though. That's my fault. But what I'm no, saying no, is, but wait, no, 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 wait, no, don't take wait, fault for that. No, what I'm but saying is, the reason why I'm saying is my fault. I don't, I don't write graffiti. You write graffiti. Yeah, you write graffiti. Yeah, I write a. What? You know. <laughs> I don't know what the you fuck that is. B C D. <laughs> what I'm saying, no one can't read my shit. All right, because I'm writing graffiti. Right. Yeah. Go look at me, go. All right, so he read it, but I'm saying, all right, so even how he reading it, he reading it in your flow. How you would have rapped he it? He read too? it like me. Like how you would have rapped it? Yes. Right. And I got scared <laughs> as a motherfucker. <laughs> I said, give me back my phone. How many bars you like it was? It was like 24. <laughs> he hit all 24. But like he was just you. like and I'm looking at this motherfucker like, cause I'm like, who the hell said that? Yeah, I'll And I'm like, that. oh shit, it's my phone. Give me my shit back. <laughs> that nigga's a genius. Yeah. I believe that. That nigga's <laughs> a genius. Let's talk about lawyer fees. Lawyer fees. Uh, that's yeah. Let's see. That's 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 Polo again, man. You know, Polo me and liberal got yeah. Me and liberal got a different type of chemistry, man. What you just, call him. You got a nickname for everybody. What's the name? He said, Polo? "No, bro." I said, "Polo." That's just Broski, on bro. Okay. Well, um, yeah. Me and me and we got a different type of chemistry for sure. Like <laughs> I said, we getting it. Damn, come to the trees, bros. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, guys. I got nothing, nothing to do with this side of the room. <laughs> a word? Look, it's like that? Look, look. Oh, bro. When we yeah, tell you nah, something real quick, that. you know, did that once. Champagne. Did, they should have been fucking with the champagne. Yeah, we had no, champagne. No, no, we didn't. They should have fucked with the champagne. Champagne. Oh, bro. How about Kodak? What's you, uh, you and Kodak? Kodak, man. Yeah, that's my word. Yo, champagne is off the table. Is Kodak still locked up? Champagne going braids. He's home? Yo, Listen, bro, home, yeah, for sure, man. That, that's that, good, that, man. That's good. That's the homie, oh, bro. That's my dog. Yeah, that's, fuck nah, me, Kodak's bro. a good dude, bro. Yeah, yeah, Kodak. Co- Thank co- you, Kodak. I ain't gonna lie, he, you cannot. Uh, we love you, Kodak. Yeah, oh, bro. Stay home, stay home, Kodak. We love you, oh, bro. I love that. I nigga. fuck with that boy. That nigga, let me just tell you something. Let me address the critics real quick. The critics of what? A lot of people was like, oh my God, he was so fucking high on drink chance, he was so fucking drunk. That's a lie. That motherfucker stayed here for four hours yeah. afterwards. If he was high and fucked up, you out of here as yeah, soon as you, you leave. That. that motherfucker stayed out here and shut down on block. The whole block. He stayed here and sh- fucking signed autographs. Bro. Like... Yeah, nah, bro, bro, man, that nigga smart as hell, man. Kodak a real one, man. Like, come on, man. Let's leave that shit alone. Man. And, and I, I hate addressing, like, you know, shit like that. But, you know, I want to defend him. I want to defend him. He was not high. He was, he was, he was, he was cool. Yeah, he was, he was just Kodak, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, boy, Yak was just being Yak, man, oh, bro. And, and, and that's the thing about... Y'all generation, yeah. there's a lot of our generation started to judge y'all mm-hmm. in that aspect. Yeah. What I mean is, that's we we was exactly y'all. Exactly everything y'all did, we yeah. did. But then now that we're older, we say, yeah. oh, 
Why would they let him do that? I think it's I think it's probably like the internet perception, like everything being broadcasted on the internet. You feel what I'm saying? So I think that's everybody the quick of everything, to judge. Bro. Like everybody quick to judge us and like mm-hmm. judge our, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, bro, every like Every artist, everybody got their own flaws, got their head on every, you know what I'm saying? Like, personal shit going on, you feel what I'm saying? But, like, like I ain't saying, like, no artist, for instance, or whatever the case may be, like, and, and I'm glad that you saying that because, shit, all we did was follow the footsteps of what we seen and what we yeah. knew, you know? We which is not up necessarily right. Which is not necessarily right. That wasn't necessarily right, exactly. but it was right because at the end of the day, right. it was... The foundation of helping us get to where we are. But that's, you know what I'm saying? That's y'all what, done something that was unthinkable or unseen of or unheard and of. And was wrong. Or y'all broke the deal. And broke, it was wrong. Yeah, it was wrong. It, it was, was wrong. wrong. I yeah, always yeah. say something. Our generation fucked up. Mm-hmm. Right. Our generation fucked up. So whatever y'all fucked up like, is, it's kind of our mistake. And I'm not blaming, yeah. I'm not blaming Nori or yeah. this I person. ain't blaming, ain't nobody yeah. pointing on no fingers. Yeah. No, no, I'm no, saying, but, but I'm but a I'm, part of no, that. No, I'm telling you yeah. something right now. This is way, I'm, I'm from the DJ aspect, not right. the artist aspect, but right. the DJ right. aspect. What happened is, in the 90s, hip-hop started making money, real money. Right. This is my, my opinion. Right. I can't tell you what it is. It's my opinion. And what I think happened is that the artist said, oh shit, we making real money. We not gonna ever get old. Right. We, it's like the YOLO forever. Right. We not gonna pass down information and we're not gonna change yeah. anything. We're not gonna, this is not a culture. We gonna make this business. We gonna make money forever. And then right. that's what happened. There was a stagnation of information, exactly. mm. of culture, right. and you can hit you with mad big words. Just now. stagnation, it's not stagnation of information. Of information. No nah, problem. but he he knows these words. <laughs> nah, we, right. we, 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 he don't nah, know, you know these know, words. You know, he knows know. fucking words. <laughs> it's just real, man. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's what happened, bro. Like like there was a part of a, 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 a section of time yeah. where people stopped. Informing yeah. each other. No, nah, but for sure, for sure, he right though, because it's yeah. like we picked up the, the back, the shit, the backlash of everything y'all did right and wrong. Exactly. Everything y'all did exactly. right, we picked up. Everything wrong y'all did, we picked up too. You feel what I'm saying? And right. right. It was, yeah, wrong and right. So it's yeah. like, it was a, you know, we, we got to, of course, be grateful. We got to take what come with it. Like you said, you got to take that come good and the bad. But as right. far as like, the the like the perspective of imagery like the the perspective of an artist and what you put out and the negativity that come behind that and just the misinformation of the business and, and whatever how to, how it takes to shit, make bread you know what I'm saying exactly that's what I'm saying like you just said the same thing so like yeah both of them was like a it was like a, a two flip coin we took yep. in the good and the bad it was just what came behind you know, the generation before us, and then it's like the generation after us is gonna do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that was like, I mean, <laughs> nah, it, 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 it's deep because to a certain extent, I, play, I take place in that, right? You do? <clears throat> meaning, we do, we do. Meaning, there was a lot of foul artists that came before me. And when I seen them, they never gave me advice. So I was like, fuck it. Right. Fuck them niggas. Right. <laughs> and fuck this industry. It's true. I'm going to stay in my own fucking zone. And then I actually didn't give advice to young homies when I seen them. When I seen them, I felt like they felt like how I felt. Like, fuck it. Mm-hmm. This, young, this older nigga, because everybody... And then older, older is actually dope. The older you yeah. get, to be old I see that. Look, is, a, is a luxury. It, hell yeah, yeah. It's a luxury. Abs- hell yeah. yeah. Come on, let's that's why I that. look up to to. Yeah. That's why I look up to y'all niggas so much. You know what I'm saying? But listen, like mm. how you saying that? That shit only passed on generations. You no more marijuana. <laughs> Whoa! You want to go back to smoke yeah, blunts? I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. This, this, this is this is. This yeah, man. I'm, you want to call it? You want to call it cocaine too? No, no, no. What? <laughs> yeah, this is blunt. You see, I ain't smoked so old blunt school. In so long. Yeah, my, my lungs are still in the night. Oh, you don't drink champs though, but listen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm saying to say mm-hmm. is like, so like for like the generation you saying like, all right, fuck it. 
these niggas, I ain't sharing no, I ain't showing no, well, like, in the industry, I see firsthand the niggas, like, you might have, like, bad experience with a certain artist, now you yeah. don't fuck with nobody, you're a dude, like, and that's you just terrible. That's terrible. Now it's like, damn, now the next nigga who you might really fuck with, you look, he might looking at you like, you a certain way, you might be looking at him like he a certain way, you feel what I'm saying, just off the fact that you just holding on to that, and that's gonna hinder your career too. Right. But it's like, you feel me, it's just, like, I done seen that shit firsthand. Like, you got to meet man. Nipsey? Yeah, 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 never. Wow. You know what's crazy. so crazy? Man, bro, I ain't even being funny. To, I'm glad you asking these questions, this shit, like, coming up, because one of my first experiences when I first met Nipsey, I was, I used to be going to L.A., um, like, when I was, like, 20 or some shit. Young as hell, I got, I'm in a rental. I think I'm in, like, a Bentley or something. I'm going to a random-ass 7-Eleven. That's when I used to be drinking lean and all type of shit. Uh, I'm going to a random 7-Eleven, and I'm going to grab, like, a kid or something. This nigga Nip pull up in a black Maybach Dolo by itself, go to the ATM. I'm looking, I'm like, this Nip. I'm Dolo, he Dolo. I feel like I know that 7-Eleven. Nah, we weren't even in Beverly Hills. We was like, oh, then by the, we was by the Waffle House on Gal, so somewhere, we was in the, yeah. we wasn't in no Beverly Hills, man. Mm. He pulled up, he in the Maybach on, bro. I, so I hollered on, like, damn, you know, like, this was early and, on, and, though. And you G Herbo at this time? Nah, Does he know who we you was are? Like, yeah, he know who I am. You know okay, her? Okay, okay. I wasn't turn, turn, I'm like on some, like, I'm you, G Herbo. You, you turn yeah. in? Yeah, I'm turning okay. in on bro. And I see bro, you know, like, uh -huh. we just fucking around, like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? That just made me, like, that's how we locked in. Like, I ain't gonna lie, it was just like, like, every, like, since that day, you feel what I'm saying? Me and bro, like, always had, yeah, like, a different, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. That shit crazy. That was one of my first like LA experiences. Was what I'm saying. Like Are you, you yeah, just bro. moved there at that point. I was no. just visiting there. I yeah. wasn't even uh, moving there. Like it was one of my first LA experiences. And I'm seeing him like I don't. It was I was like on some fan shit though. Like, I was like man. super LA shit. Yeah, you feel me? Like I'm like damn. I go nip. You feel what I'm saying? But he pull up in a Maybach, Dolo by itself. But it, I'm like damn, bro, a real street nigga. Bro. He like Dolo by itself. You feel what I'm saying? Like. God bless his soul. I swear to God, that shit just made me like super gravity to him. Like, damn. That was my first time ever meeting him, though, but it wasn't on no rap shit. You feel me? Like, me and bro never got no chance to do no music or nothing like that. But every time we seen each other, it was mutual love and shit just off that one encounter. Come on, bro. Bro, we gotta take a shot for that. Come on, bro. Damn, bro. Damn, I ain't got no, uh, they gotta bring me one. Oh, shit. I'm here. I'm he, 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 she said. You want some of this? You, I think you want some of Look, this. I told you, 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 you want some of this. You want some of yeah. this, bro? I'm gonna pull some of this in here. Come bro. on, man. Go get some of. <laughs> told you, it's gonna try to get you to cross over to to the devil. Not a chico. Not a chico. Salud. Rest in peace, Nip, bro. What? Let me. Uh, let me do something with this. Let me keep it so back to you, fun, man. Do you realize how much hip hop love you? You realize how much hip hop fuck with you? Yeah. You do. Now yeah. you do. I'm starting, yeah. Like, I was finna say, I'm starting to realize for real. Like, nah, you that nigga. It's like, appreciate the culture for yeah. what it's doing for you, bro. I'm definitely appreciating it. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, it loves you, bro. I think it's, no, I God. started so early and it's like, I'm still young and I'm just trying to, I think I'm so ambitious. I feel like, and it's like, just me trying to be. Trying to go out legendary and be perfect, I feel like I'd be a little hard on myself, but I do realize, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. And then what made me realize, I'm gonna be honest, is getting love from like niggas that I really grew up listening to and looking up to, like niggas like you and mm. just niggas like kids or just mm. any nigga that I really grew up fucking with, you know what I'm saying? Like the Waynes, Drakes, Plutos, everybody that I really like. Admire, you feel what I'm saying? Like ever in my life, and I really feel genuine love from them. Right. That'd be the like the, the really extra push that I really fuck with. You know what I'm saying? And then like it'd be like when I fuck with like my peers and like the younger generation too. I'd be always one of like just fuck with niggas. Like that's why even any little artist that come out of Chicago or any other city that I know going crazy, like. I just game shit. I just be jumping on shit, like, whatever, because I be wanting to do, like, 
I feel like I admire when Wayne went on that run. He was just on everybody's shit, no matter who you were. No matter mm-hmm. if you was turnt, up and coming, whoever. Like, he just went on everybody's shit. Like, I got that same mentality because I looked up to a nigga like Wayne. You feel me? And it's just like, it's showing love at the end of the day. But it's just like, it's like, it's competition. Because I'm, I'm in competition with myself. Well, I just want to be on everybody's shit. Right, I want right. to be heard. You feel me? But I'm just showing love to so many artists that I don't need. Look at it like that. You feel me? All right. And you gonna do a record? Mm, bro, gotta find one. Cause you are ill. Don't go crazy tomorrow. All right. But man, let me just say, we not ending it. I'm, yeah, I don't like this I'm, motherfucker hitting too. Hey man, you know that's my, my boy Boris right there rolling it. Oh. Hip hop. Starting the part. It all. You know, uh, saved all of our life. But hip hop is a business. At what point did you start to say, "Damn, this this ain't about the love. This is about the business." Oh, um, you know, it's so crazy. I'm glad you asked me that. Like now, it just came to a point after me doing this shit for ten, twelve years, where it's like. I did so much shit out of love, it don't even matter no more. I've done everything you can out of love, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, and it was really like, well, a point where like, you feel what I'm saying? You know, some, certain people say that shit where they feel like it's coming from a place of resentfulness. You know, like. Meaning what? Like, when people say like, all right, it's no They're more about no more shit. I ain't doing no more shit out of love. You feel uh, what I'm saying? Like, right. it feel like certain times when people do that, it's come from a place of resentfulness where they feel like they don't want to do it because they angry about something. About you know something. what I'm saying? Something. Like, yeah. I'm on some shit where it's like, I just know everything I put forth. I know my worth. So it's like, I don't have to. Like, I already done it. Like, where it's like, even where it got to do with actually charge, or it's like, I done did so much shit out of love. I don't got to charge for nothing. I could go get a favor from Dan or anybody in the industry just because my face card good. Yes, but I did so much solid shit. You got credit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, no background. bullshit. Yeah. Nah, really? And, like, that's worth more than money. You feel me? So it's like Way more cool. worth than money. Relationship. And, yeah, exactly. And and I learned that really, like, on some shit right now where it's to, like, I done did so much shit just on some here, here, here because I'm just trying to show love. But it was actually beneficial to so many people where it changed lives it did help niggas careers and or you know what i'm saying so it's like shit it, it it put me in favor you know it put me in favor to be able to go get you know what i'm saying shit done need to be if i need to you know what i'm saying so it's like shit I, and, and it happened organically i wasn't doing it intensely like all right i'm doing this because i want a favor you know like shit just happened and it's like now i'm I, I could go reach out to my reach go far, like whether right it's for me or anybody. Like I could be building an artist and go get you a get an artist or a, a placement with they probably favorite artists just off the strength of shit that I done done. You know what I'm saying? Where well, it's gonna be like easy, you know, and, and that's not what's never my intention. It's just like certain shit just go hand in hand because your face card go a long way like i built that over the course of shit 10 12 years of just doing shit off, off the love just me being a solid nigga you know take a shot after that oh, bro. <laughs> i'm sorry you ain't got to take no we take a shot okay. you know that solid oh you uh, you got a tan EFL. solo so i like the because it's like the tim shot I mean, how many think like 10, 12? Who's counting? Who's counting? I can go take a pee-pee's 20 times. Uh, I'll let you go first, then I'll go after. Go, go, bro. If we all go together? I'll go I feel like piss. you got to take a piss, too. No, I'm, I'm boo. You good? All right, cool. Okay. Holy moly, guacamole. This is the first time smoking a blunt. What was you smoking earlier? Uh, a backwood with a joint? With, a, with, with the papers around it. Where did they do that at? Shit. I, I've been smoking so long, I just like to 
I want you gotta hit my chest hard. I like the, the feel of it. So what do you smoke on a regular basis? Like like what? Like some wise? Yeah, like what kind of bud? What's your favorite? Yeah, uh, any any exotics, any perps, some some gelato, gelato. I'm a gelato home, bro. You ever smoke sour diesel? I used to smoke sour diesel like early freshman, yeah, high school type shit. You ever smoke haze? Yeah, I fuck with the haze. I used to fuck with haze, like. When I first started coming to New York, that was probably like 2000 and... Hanging with Dominican. 16. I only smoked haze a few times, though, like, but I fucked with it, though. I went mad at it type shit, like, but I ain't never... mad at haze? No, I wasn't. You wasn't, man. Yeah, I fucked with haze. I ain't gonna lie, I fucked with it a little bit. You was in Dykeman? You ever been in Dykeman? I was in Yonkers. Yonkers, okay, yeah, Jada Kid shit. In the room. Yeah, he, he got the haze there. That's JD Kiss. Yeah, that's where I was at. Oh, yeah, JD Kiss. Yeah. Home road. <laughs> we established you trying to work with an artist, but there, is there any artist that you want to work with that you haven't worked with yet? Yeah, um, it's a few I ain't gonna lie, but if I had to really pick like my ultimate, I always be saying this shit. I don't know why. I'm just like. I really like, I wanna, I wanna like, man, this shit sound crazy. I wanna really get in the studio and really like do a song like with, with like Lauren Hill on some like. Lauren real, Hill? Yeah, on some real like. With the braids or the bald head? <laughs> on bro with either, on bro. Either Lauren. Either Lauren. You gonna take either version of either. Lauren. What I'm just saying, like if I had to pick all the way, on some. Lord. My dream feature. My dream feature, though. Okay, so God comes down from heaven. Not aliens. Okay, aliens come down from heaven. <laughs> and aliens say, I need you to make one record for me. I need you to pick who's going to be the producer and who's going to do the hook. Who's going to be the producer who's going to do the hook? Yeah. Aliens and God together. I don't know why they're together. But they're together and they say, G Herbo, you gotta save planet Earth. Oh bro. One record. One. One producer. Bro, I'm gonna do. And anybody on the hook. One producer. Dead or alive. They coming outside. Oh, bro. Yeah, Elvis Presley, nigga. <laughs> Elvis oh, yeah. Presley could be. Oh, bro. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll one Michael producer Jackson. anybody Michael on the Jackson. Hook? One producer in dead or alive. You get Mike. Oh um, bro. Um, I gotta go Prince Michael Jackson. Um, Prince could be going. there. I gotta go, I gotta go Prince on the hook. Prince on the hook? And I'm going and I'm going yay on the beat. Oh um, bro. I gotta take a piss. Oh come to the <laughs> You killed that. You win. Oh um, bro. Keep going. Would you I'll be back? I'm coming to curl like that. Right, he's it's right. too hard. I don't know what the fuck y'all were talking about. But I'm gonna bring it back to Chicago. So you got connected with Common through No ID, right? Yeah. So where were you guys, like, what was the connection between old Chicago hip hop and new Chicago hip hop? I think it was like. Like, what was the respect level as well? I often say I think it, I, I really think it was the transition of like Chicago hip hop always was on some um like in a way it was like can can I say something real quick yeah. before you keep going I, I just, and I don't want to interrupt I'm I'm interrupting actually but yeah. I just want to say like I was reading on you right and people were saying like drill had a perception of non lyrics yeah. But you actually brought lyrics. Like, you was actually a person that was spitting. Right. And I feel like you was bringing the, 
what was happening already with Common and Kanye and these yeah. guys, like, you was bringing that level of lyricism to your music. Yeah, so that's what I was like, I was gonna say, I think in Chicago, like, the transition of, like, you know, niggas like Common, Ye, Twister, all them, they really rapped for real, is what right. I'm saying. So, like, in Chicago, when the drill scene and that whole era came about, it wasn't really like on no lyricism type shit. It was like, it was just me up tempo turnt music. Right, just that's do what why you do. they right. felt like drill was a whole nother genre. Right, right. But it wasn't. It was just like a term, an or like an expression. Basically, right, right, drill right. was an expression, and the music that we created to me, drill was, was just, just a beat, exactly, a certain beat, a certain type of beat. That's it, exactly. But exactly. So it's right. like what I'm saying is like. What Chicago music was before then was like rap, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that from the commas, the twisters, and yays, and right. all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel what I'm saying? So, like, Lupe, you feel me? Bump, right, right, all right, them, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, when that music trans, like, transcended into some whole other shit, I never really stood. In that lane Like I always was on Some rap shit anyways Like you feel me I grew up listening to That type of era So you of rap did and, listen to that era Yeah hell yeah And I grew up listening To New York rappers too You feel what I'm saying Like okay. I grew up listening To all type of genres When it came to hip hop I mean not genres I'm just saying All type of artists You just loved hip hop Yeah I love hip hop As a that's whole That's the best way to say it exactly. Probably So, so uh, Yeah uh, I was saying like When I came out I never really like Label myself as a drill artist. I always like was on some shit. Like I'm just a rapper. You feel what I'm saying? Like I just, that can rap on some shit. Exactly. I was 15 years old, 16 years old when that shit came out. But I was on. I was one of the only people that actually was rapping on old simple beats and rapping over shit that Kiss made a rap over or Meek was rap. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I was really on some shit. Like my first. Two, three, four freestyles I put out was over Meek Beats. You feel what I'm right. saying? This was 2010, 2011 and shit. Big like up that. Meek Mill. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So it was like, I was always on some shit where I was trying to rap anyway. Like, I was never trying to put myself in that box of drill rap. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I think that's why I was able to, like, connect with the commas and shit like that. Like, how you saying? Like, it reached out and, like, not, like, to go off subject all the way, my uncle who passed away, his name was K Tone. He already, yeah, he already knew them. Like he already like knew Common and uh, Ye and the legendary tracks. The they they had they was a group called Trevor and Tracks. So in Chicago, my uncle was like a legendary producer in a way, and that was my blood uncle. You feel what I'm saying? So it's right. like I'm in the studio around him and already getting that foundation with twisting them around, do or die, all these. Crucial conflict, all and my uncle was already well respected in the industry in Chicago when it came to that type of stuff. Like Mickey Halston, who was my first manager, he knew my uncle. Like you know what I'm saying? So I already like had like a love for music when it came to just looking up to him and wanting to be like him. You know what I'm saying? So like when it like I feel like when when my whole like when me and Bibby when we came out, I don't know maybe it's just like. Over East, so it's just the music we listened to. We didn't, we, we was always on some rap shit. Like, the whole, we never steered away from hip hop. You feel mm. what I'm saying? We never right. tried to, like, to tear away from bars, like mm. lyricism, 12, 16, 32 Ooh. bars, rap, rap. You feel what I'm saying? Like, lyricism. We never, right. like, we never shied away from that. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, that's always what I was on from the moment I choose to be a rapper. Right. So, like, yeah. I know we touched on it earlier, right? But I, I went and looked at my um, Twitter when I went to the bathroom. And it's still, people think that drill music started in London. Yeah, I don't know why. They, yeah, that's crazy. Why but do you think that? I think because, I don't know, I feel like overseas, like in London, they, they, they had um, such a big wave with just like how they was able to translate the... The, the How, how's shit. I your like, following in London? Let's just start with there. Oh, um, I ain't really. I would toured. imagine I you toured. have the biggest following. I ain't toured or did nothing in London yet, but I want to go out. I'm have go you out gone there. overseas? 
No, no, I ain't got no. Oh, bro, you, I guarantee you got a big overseas cr- oh, yeah. audience, bro. You gotta go. You gotta go overseas. I got, no, I ain't got no overseas. No, nah, you, you gotta get out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You got a big audience outside of here, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I, yes. I ain't never did nothing. As well, much as they appreciate us, I was nah, in London for um, they appreciate us much. I was much in London for like two there. weeks with Juice World and shit. We had he was on tour with Nicki Minaj. I had did Tim Westwood and shit. That was like oh, and uh, two three. That, yeah. That's UK. Yeah, UK, that that's like, London. So you yeah, went to was, London. Yeah. That was like three, four years ago, though. I ain't been there since. I ain't did no shows. Yeah, yeah, just nah. UK, just London. Yeah, just okay. Now you need to go back. Tim, go w- back. Tim Westwood, that's our yeah, brother. That's big, that's big. Tim Westwood is big. Yeah. I played the best hood. OT with Tim Westwood. I had been on Section 8. Oh, Section is good. Bro. Oh yeah, with Tim Westwood. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 that's a legend. Yeah, no, that shit went crazy. Tim Westwood's a legend, legend bro. It's yeah, I fuck with Tim Westwood for sure. So, what's your favorite place to perform? Uh, if I had to choose, of course, it'd be Chicago. Um, <coughs> if I, to exclude Chicago, if I had to say my all-time favorite place to perform would be New York. New York. Mm. <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. New York fuck with me. Like, nah. I had some of my best shows in my career in New York. Like, one time, this is how I knew New York loved me. Look, this is like 2000 and, man, this had to be 2016, 2017. I did a show. Shout out Johnny Shipes. Um, Shout out Johnny Shipes, bro. It was, uh, I think, it was one of those Smokers Club shows. But I don't know where the venue was. It was like 4,000, 5,000 fans. That I had lost my voice. I couldn't even speak. And I'm trying to They sung the whole shit For like 30 minutes straight God damn This was The beginning of my career Like I never wow. seen Nothing yeah. like it And it's like That that support Just transcended yeah, turned us All out. through my career yeah, That that, sure. that shot town energy Fucked us up In New York No, nah, for sure I ain't gonna lie I never felt no love like it Like Even like I ain't gonna lie to me I swear to God We was just talking about this shit like the other day, uh, me, my girl, my brother, everybody, we was just saying, um, uh, the PTSD tour, like, like that show, it was my very first show. Like that was, I did the show the day the album dropped. So the fans didn't even know the music. They, it was just like the energy of them seeing me and just like everything. Like that shit was one of my hardest shows that I did. You feel mm. what I'm saying? Like we was just talking about that shit like two days ago. What was the worst place you ever performed at? Let's keep it real. Let's throw them under the bus. We don't mind. Worst place? <laughs> Fuck. Hey, Louisville. Uh, New Mexico. Probably like eight, mm. ten fans or some shit. Those ten fans love you, bro. I know they did. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I think it was like some shit where, like, the the it was the 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 promoter fucked up on some. Ain't do the promotion shit right or like the club. People he thought you were supposed to post. Yeah, nah, we did. I don't know. It was some shit like that. I'm just saying that was like my worst show that I ever That shit was like years, years ago though. But I'm just saying it was some shit where like I literally performed in front of like eight people. What I gave him But you performed. Show, like, you performed. I'm bro, I feel like I did really perform. That's dope. <laughs> I had to. That's dope. I performed in front of eight people in Dubai. Literally. In nah, Dubai? That was li- I'll never forget that shit though. It was in New Mexico performing in front of like eight people. Nah, I performed with eight people. It was their family though. In Dubai. It was fantastic. That was fantastic. I can't in Dubai? tell you what they paid me. It, was it fun- paid you a fantastic amount it was fantastic. of money? <laughs> yeah. I don't even think they even made eye contact with me. It was just you like just fuck. Yeah. What songs did you perform? Hey man, leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Every time I see you, you're a real one, happy. <coughs> uh, you rap it, man. And I really wanted to give you your flowers, man, literally, man, because. And figuratively. And figuratively. Because. You're actually a legend out here, man. You actually did your job. We're proud of you. Statesmen like me, like Fat Joe, and so on and so on. 
We're proud of you, man. And we want you to continue to do your motherfucking thing. Yeah, bro. And continue to be great. And continue to be family oriented. Yeah. And continue to stay in that gray zone. What you said. In that gray zone, you know that. Listen, the industry got your back. So when I was researching you, this is a shot. Okay. Fuck it. Oh, I don't know how this came. Popped up. No. Yeah, that's the only yeah. shot, bro. Mm. Nobody likes I it. I took another one. No, we don't like it. I want you to know hip hop loves you, man. Because it actually hurt my heart to, to hear you say that. And well, you was well, like, well, yo, well. I love hip hop, but hip hop don't love me back. And it's true, because you yeah. what you said is accurate. Hip hop would never love us well, back the way we love hip hop. Yeah. But hip hop loves us. Bro, that's why I'm gonna grab my flowers, man. I'm broke. Goddamn. Goddamn. Every time you rock a, a beautiful watch like that and you, you, you're iced out, Jay, yeah. that's hip hop, man. You know that. That's hip hop. That's hip hop. I'm bro. That shit got nothing to do with anything else. You know so we gotta salute hip hop because hip hop salutes you. And. I really want you to know that, man. Like, 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 I, I've been doing this since '97. I got everybody's number, and I'm I, and I'm I'm relationship based. Ooh. So I call people. I just ask. Everyone, everyone I call had nothing but. I said it earlier, but I want to say it again. I want you to reiterate what I'm trying to tell you. People are not only got love for you, they saying that they got love for you mm. and they rooting for you. Bro. So I don't know if those pom-poms are out in public yeah. or some private, but the fact that they rooting for you, period, mm, bro. Yeah. means a fucking lot. Trust me, I call, people be like, eh. I call, I'm like, yo, you know, I'm interviewing sisters. They're like, ah, 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 who? Oh, bro. Everybody was like, what, what do you need, Nori? What's up, son? I was just like, you know what? I actually don't need shit. Oh, bro, yeah. It already described your character. People described the character of you without you even being here. That's, that's dope, bro. No, Dope, sure. bro. Appreciate it, man. You understand what I yeah. just said? No, nah, yeah, yeah. This industry's a piece nah, of shit. Feel good. No. <laughs> and I love it. Yeah, no, nah, that shit feel good, nah. though. It's a piece of shit, but I love it. I love it. it. I love it. <laughs> we don't I love it, but we love, love it. it. Oh, I love it. You gotta love it. it. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. You gotta love something. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Everybody take it in the picture. Okay, I'm gonna end it like this. <laughs> There's a lesson in the 5% degrees. It says, love hella right. Which means sometimes you gotta love hell in order to come out right. Mm. Which means sometimes you can't even go to heaven. Unless you go to hell first? Unless you've been to hell first. Yeah. I like it. Ooh, bro. Welcome to Happen. Let's take it G Herbal got them new teeth, man. New teeth? <laughs> oh, bro, yeah, 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 yeah. You looking good out there. Come on, fix it, boy. All right, all right, oh, let's take another picture. Oh, oh, you gotta address it. Hold on, hold on. You gotta address the new teeth? Yes, because you, you took that, you that you good picture. Hold on, let me, that's let me show the picture. weird. Let me show the picture. It's like a, yeah, yeah. That shit been going viral, bro. I just, yeah. I took a big, that's like a big thing, I guess. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, no, I ain't gonna say I guess. I said I ain't never getting my teeth done, bro. I said I'd never get my teeth done, bro. Yeah, you outside. <laughs> yeah, this shit do look, look, this shit do look crazy. It's fire. Shit hard. You outside, you changed. I got all the teeth done, like all 24, man. I got all nice. shit did. Nice. I said I'd never get my teeth done, man. And when they got my shit done. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't I, man? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't I that's go what, and turn up, man? That's what getting money feel Ele like. Elevation. That's what getting money feel like. That's what getting money feel like. God damn it! Yeah, man. Make them noise.
Let him get money, nigga. I don't even know this frat. Get that motherfucking money. Let's take another shot. I'm sorry. Where's she, where she go? Let's take a, I'm sorry. You on, want another, another shot? shot? Come on, let's do it. And a drink or just another shot? Another shot, bro. I'm not going to lie yeah. to you, bro. I'm happy you came here today. No, for sure, I'm happy bro. you showed up. I'm happy you arrived. I did lose the bat. Did tell you that, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I felt like you was going to be on time. I, f- I ain't gonna lie, I supposed to been on time, bro. I supposed to been on time. But then they told me you, they blame your girl. I was like, that's a good excuse. I'm taking my shot standing up. I blame my girl. Y'all, bro. They said they blame your girl. Chi Chi, you? Yeah, I don't know. It, maybe it's your team. They said they blame your girl. I say it Damn. to my wife all the time. I look, know. I threw her under the bus, and then they threw me under the bus yeah. by saying that. Oh. <laughs> they were never supposed to say that. You didn't throw your wife under Let's the take bus. a shot. <laughs> Hey man, He's out yo, of G Herbo, let me just hey, tell you really something. One throw asses? Nah, I ain't um, with that. You a legend? Nah, take your shot, bro. What, what, hey, what are you man. doing? Oh, this is. Yeah, she's yeah. All right, oh, she brought me. You a legend? Thank you for coming through Drink Champs. Thank you for, yes, for hanging out with your family, bringing your family. That's a beautiful thing. And. We love you. Continue to go. Anytime you want to promote anything, even if you want to promote your your little toenail, we don't mind. Bro. We don't mind. Come over here. We're going to promote that little nigga. Oh, bro. Fuck it. <laughs> Salud. Salute. Salute. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Take it down, though. My brother. Toenail juice. Let's do toenail juice. Toenail juice. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>